Hello and welcome to Mage Master's amazing adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. In case you didn't notice it, at the very end of yesterday's episode, I had a new book release, Mage Master's Book of Battle Tales Volume 1. It contains my five first action-packed missions into Mordheim City of the Damned with the Firing Squad. You can find it in my personal warband chest. I believe you guys call that a playlist. It's named Books. Check it out, you'll not regret it, I promise. Another day is dawning in Mordheim, City of the Damned, and let's get started right away with the sweet moment after yesterday's heroic battle. And, of course, not the least, follow my personal progress as the Warlock Ranger Mage Master. It was a battleground victory, there wasn't really any wordstone gathering, and there wasn't really any scavenging, and there wasn't really any good looting, but we put five enemies out of action, lost no one, and the Captain Mason Muckshot was honored most valuable warrior. But I was on a true member of the firing squad, what an honor! The whole mission just costed 45 gold coins, and overall, the other war members would probably have said that this mission was a waste of time, but to me this was the greatest achievement! And the Captain Mason Mugshot, he was honored most valuable warrior and put three enemies out of action. Incredible! He was given two advancement points, one for mental and one for martial. Nice! And Howard Howler, you stood strong and broad in that doorway. Nobody passed you. Nobody. Three even tried. You just put one of them out of action, but the work was well done. You got a physical advancement point as well, and you're probably going to be using that for strength so you can open that last slot in your inventory. Nice. And Donnie Dodger, you did a good job of being both a second frontliner and a first frontliner. Well done. This doesn't reflect your job out there, but well done, Donnie Dodger. And Teddy Toothpick, you protected the captain from that balcony. That was a good spot up there. Every shot you made, that counted. I'm sure of it. This does not reflect your good job out there. Well done, Teddy Toothpick. Well done. And Sheldon Shieldwise, what a good job you did out there again, and you did a good job with that spear and the defense. This does not reflect your job out there, and the Baron is probably to blame. But well done. Well done. And there I am, Mage Master, and look at this. One enemy put out of action. The last enemy I needed to complete my standard contract. I am now a true member of the firing squad, and I can see the captain's master plan for me. And I'll, of course, share it with you. You know that. But hey, these things are top secret. So promise me you're not going to tell the captain, okay? I could get fired for this stuff. Anyway, I got a martial advancement point as well. This is good. What a good day. And Herman Henchman, what a good job you did out there as a frontliner today. This does not reflect your good job out there either. But you got an advancement point in martial. Well earned. Good job. And Nero the hero, what a good job you did out there, and what a formidable position you found yourself with a high ground with overview over everything, and all your shots were damaging and right on target. Awesome! This does not reflect it, but good job, Nero. Good job. And we got two XP for the warband. Nice. Now, let's see who got what at yesterday's sweet moment. And there was nothing for the captain today. Actually, he was a bit cranky about the normal missions that the Baron sent us. The normal missions, they don't provide any experience or advancement points, really, or any items or looting or gathering or anything. It is below our standard, he says. We need hard missions, and maybe even brutal later on. But for now, we are at hard missions. At least he got two advancement points. 
one in mental going for intelligence and another for martial going for ballistics again. And that's it for the captain. But one who did get something out of it was Howard Howler, our big brute basher who stood in the doorway and blocked everything into the house. You see, out there we found a blue good quality halberd. He's of course going to be putting that to good use. Nice. And he also got an advancement point in physical and he is using it for strength to open this last slot in his inventory right down there. This is it. And there it is. Nice. He's now got six slots in his inventory. That's good for looting and everything else. Nice, Howard. And Herman Henchman. There wasn't any items for you out there either, but there was an advancement point in Marshall, and you're gonna be putting that to good use with the weapon skill. Nice, Herman. And Sheldon Shieldwise. You did a good job out there with your spear, but you got no items for it and no advancement points. Sorry, but... Mm. Normal missions, huh? And Nero the Hero, you did a good job as well out there. I found a nice spot to deal damage from, but you got no items for it and no advancement point either. That's the normal missions the barons are giving us. That's not good. And Teddy Toothpick, you did a good job as well. Standing on that balcony, having so many choices to choose from, and every time your target went to the target. Anyway, you got nothing. Nothing. No items, no advancement point or anything. But you brought back a helmet, right? You brought a nice helmet back for Boldy's Boldy head. Look at this. And you even got him a nice white feather. Nice. And Donnie Dodger, you didn't get anything either out there and no items or anything, but you told the captain that this maze, it just doesn't look cool standing in the first front line with a maze in your hand. You want a proper sword, so you're gonna be taking the Sword of Enfeeblement and taking the maze away. And he gave it to me, so I am gonna be walking around with a good quality maze in my store. Stock and I got an advancement point. I'm gonna be using that for ballistics, of course. Nice! And I could tell you when Bonnie Boomberg, our smuggler, she heard that Teddy Toothpick brought back a helmet for Baldy Bowman's Baldy head, she told Nero the hero that she would share her helmet with him. He was so happy he went straight down to the new tailor in town and bought himself a nice yellow feather and a vest to fit the feather. Nice. Now the captain isn't too happy about all these colors, and especially yellow. He's more into camo colors. He doesn't want us to look like, and I quote, a pack of peacocks. But Nero the hero doesn't care. He thinks he looks nice, and so do I, Nero. Nice. And our captain, Mason Mugshot, is going to be using some of his unspent skill points for the shield specialist skill. And while he's gone training, he allowed me to take a look at my master plan. And of course, I'm going to be sharing that with you. But hey, you know, this thing's that top secret. So you got to promise me not to tell the captain I showed you this, okay? I could get fired, you know. Now let's take a look at the captain's master plan for... Me! There I am, Mage Master, Ranger, Hero, and Spellcaster, a Warlock, and a Backliner. Every Warband member of the Firing Squad has four personal objectives, counting the first objective as the standard contract. To become a true member, everyone has to survive five missions and put five enemies out of action. Once that is accomplished, they can progress in the star ranking system as a trooper. And I can gain a star by putting another 15 enemies out of action, making it a total of 20 enemies put out of action. And if I do that, I gain the rank of a true trooper. And I can achieve a second star by putting an enemy out of action with a lightning strike. And if I do that, I gain the rank of a star trooper. And I can achieve a third star and the highest rank of a tri trooper by casting a fireball that deals damage to more than one enemy. Now let's take a look at the specific stats, spells, and skills specified by the captain for me. 
There are three spells, two active skills, and four passive skills in all, and I will be mastering all of them. Let's start with the spells. And my first spell is Blinding Lights. I will be mastering this so I can cast it at a range of 30 meters. I can target everyone within a 5 meter radius. And it reduces melee hit, ranged hit, dodge, parry, perception and spell casting by 10%. My second spell will be Lightning Strike. I will be mastering this skill so I can cast it at a range of 30 meters at a single enemy. It deals 32 to 42 damage that bypasses the armor absorption. And my last spell is the Fireball which I will also master so I can cast it at a range of 30 meters and target everyone within a 5 meter radius. It will deal 20 to 30 damage that bypasses the armor absorption. Now let's take a look at my skills, starting with the active skills. My pre-made skill, Concentration, increases the casting chance of the next spell by 15%, and the next action must thereby be a spell or the effect is lost. And the second and last of my active skills is the Battle Plan. I will be mastering this plan so I can cast it at a range of 30 meters and target a single ally and restore two offense points that can be used for counterattacking. This is a strategic buff skill. And now for the passive skills. The first is Overhead, which I will be mastering so it increases my ranged hit chance by 10% when I'm higher than my target. And my second passive skill, the Hunter, is also going to be mastered, so after every shoot or aim action, I will receive a 40% chance to recover one strategy point. And the third of my passive skills is Quick Reload. I will be mastering this skill as well, so it will reduce the cost of the reload action by two strategy points. And the fourth and final of my passive skills is Channeling. I will be mastering this skill to reduce the chance to trigger Stench Curse by 15% when I'm casting a spell. And this is my very own and personal Warband member master plan sheet, planned out and masterminded by the captain himself. I have been gathering these master plan sheets to make my own book, Mage Master's Book of Sheets. And so a new damn day is dawning in Mordheim and it's time to look at the daily report. And Mason Muckshot has learnt the skill, Shield Specialist Overnight, this is awesome, and we have three more days to make the Baron a little more happy. Hmm. And I can tell you that our warband cook, Perry Perry, now has a new kitchen. We all built the kitchen in the best, finest quality wood that the captain could get, spared no expense. It is a good kitchen with wooden cupboards and tables and shelves and you name it. It is the last time we eat oatmeal porridge. Perry Perry has already promised us some Eastern Asian gourmet delicacy food and it's gonna be something slushy slush, sushi yeah something with fish. He's been down at the docks trying to get ingredients all morning. I'm really looking forward to that and looking forward to my last oatmeal porridge. Awesome. And our newest recruit, Pierre Paré, has arrived. He's brought some of his own gear, but we need to stock him up with a little better gear. So he's not coming with us on a mission today. We're just going to find some new gear for him and let him settle in and be ready for tomorrow's mission. Welcome, Pierre. And speaking of missions, here is the team we are sending into Mordheim, City of the Damned today. And we're a war party of eight today, starting from the left. Of course, me, Mage Master, the newest true member of the Firing Squad. And our big brute basher, Howard Howler, is coming with us. Filling out any doorway makes us all feel secure. And the Captain Mason Mugshot, because we still have no one else. And our three sturdy warriors, Sheldon Shieldwise with his spear, Herman Henchman in the first front line, and Dodgy Dan. 
Dan is coming with us today. Our eye in the sky and the backliner is Teddy Toothpick once again. And Nero the Hero is coming with us with the rifle. So, let's go. And the captain has persuaded the Baron to give us a proper mission, a hard mission, crush their will. The wordstone gathering with savage and the scavenging is poor. Each warband deploys in a wide arc from their wagon, far from each other. Nice one, Captain. Scouts have reported arrival warband in the vicinity. Before you can find them, a heavy fog settles over the ruins. Unable to pick up the enemy's trail, your warriors deploy from their wagon and spread out to sweep the area in search of your foe. And we're in... First things first, let's just see who we're up against here. We'll look at our map while the captain takes a look at his map and hopefully lays out a genius master plan. We're up against the Skaven. Spleen takers, oh my god, I'm gonna tell you something. I had a dream last night about big ass rats, sorry. Yeah, so I actually took a, a little potion of uh, antidote with me today. Hmm, call that foresight, huh? I've heard so much bad about these, Kevin. Anyway, time for deployment and let's hear the captain's plan. Okay, and I am gonna be here. Captain is gonna be here. And Teddy Toothpick. You gonna run f You gonna run for some high ground. Here. Okay, Sheldon Shieldwise, you're gonna be here in the middle of the street. Dodgy Dan, you're gonna stay here. And Nero, the hero, you're gonna be here next to the wagon. And then we need Herman Henchman, you're gonna be here like this. And then we will have Howard Howler. Coming up from behind the rest of them, like right here, next to me, like this, yes. Okay, and now it's time to hear the captain's hopefully genius battle plan approach. So the plan is that we all gather up and go to this house. This is the base camp number one. We got good balconies up here. We got a good view of the direction from which the Skaven rat packs are coming, running down this way. Some might come around this way, but we have a good view here. We'll see what approach we need. We have a Wordstone field right here. We have one on the middle of the street and another one in the street over here. So. We're surrounded by Wordstone, we need to see how we can get a hold of that. Now I'm placed all the way out here, my object is to go through these houses, get to the scavenge point, and through the front door and assist on the balconies. So, that's plan A, and that's the first base camp. So let's deploy Howard Howler and see how things go. Hmm. Talking about Howard Howler, I can tell you that, uh... We were uh, celebrating last night. I mean, I became a true member of the firing squad, so uh, ale and meat was on me. And this guy, Howard Howler, he's huge, but he doesn't drink that much. So after a few mugs, he started talking, and I kind of led the conversation into master plans. And uh, he basically, by the fourth mug, spilled the whole master plan for himself. Oh, and you know I'm gonna share it with you, you know that. But hey, let's not tell the captain, okay? These things, they're like, like top secret, and of course I'm gonna share it with you. But we gotta keep quiet about it, okay? We gotta keep quiet, because the captain, he's not gonna be happy. He's probably gonna fire me for stuff like that. So, I'm gonna show it to you tomorrow. You think that's a trap? We're gonna have to take the chance. It wasn't. 
Okay, where's the scavenge point? It's over there. Do I see anyone? I don't see anyone yet. Um, we're just gonna keep our eyes open. I got one more step. Okay. So, an overwatch stance here. Let's see. What's going on out there? Ah, oh, look at that. Nice shirt there, Nero. I really like it. And Mason Mugshot. Let's just see. You going the other way. We need to get to that beautiful house over there. Let's just see if we can sneak our way through all of this. Okay. We don't see anyone around that corner. So I guess we're just gonna follow the captain. He's going to secure the front door. Nice move. You may be able to keep an eye on, on that corner over there. Nice, captain. You see, the captain and Howard Howler, they're actually kind of competing in getting the first star in True Trooper ranking. The captain has told me that all the heroes, and that must be himself as well, they're gonna have to put 20 enemies out of action. He's kind of competing with Howard Howler about that. Him and the captain, I like that. Ah, Teddy Toothpick. Let's see. Ah, uh, you should be able to get pretty far, huh? Can you get into the house? Nice, Teddy. Nice. Yeah. You got in. Anything? You see anything in there? Nah. Okay. So, let's see if we can, we can find a good spot for you. That's a nice one. I was gonna tell you to stand there, but you found it yourself. Good. And Sheldon Shieldwise, our white knight, aka the surgeon, right? How far can you go? Okay, you're going this way. So you could, you could probably, you know, like, go in. Yeah. I was gonna suggest that, go into an ambush stance. Nice. And Dodgy Dan, let's just see. No one around the corner. The Skaven, I've heard so much about them through Perry Perry, and I don't like it. They slayed him, he put him out of action. They trampled on him, they put him on fire as well, of what I heard. And then they hurt him so much he lost his arm. Whoa, man, it's a sad story. I really don't like them. But I've never seen any of them. Oh, you got the rifle with you there. That's good. Oh, that's good. Taking the corner, are you? Nice. Okay. Ah. And Herman Henchman. As a first frontliner today. Taking the ambush as well. So let's just take a look here. See, we're all on our way into this house. This is nice. I'm hanging a little bit here. And Howard Howler is gonna finish this round with his turn. So let's see what's gonna happen. Because they could be pretty close already. Actually, pretty close. From what I hear... They can run like the wind, these Skaven. A new round has started. Okay. They're picking up some wordstone. Okay. I'm just hoping to see them step in some poison to locate them. Uh, let's just see. Ooh, did you see that? It was there. It was there. Oi, okay. Okay, so someone's coming here, probably coming under the house here. Ah, they are closing in. From what Teddy Toothpick saw inside the house, it didn't seem as if there was any, um, any entries. Ah, level gold coins, nice. You see, I got the antidote here. It can, it can remove up to one poison effect if we get affected by poison from these Skaven. That's what I heard they're good at, poisoning. Anyway, it's time for me. Looks like some traps are laid out right there. I'm not gonna test them. Hmm, let's just see here. Let's just see here. We haven't spotted anyone yet, but they could be here probably this turn. So... I'm just gonna have to stand here then. I don't like that. 
I don't like that. Okay. So. Mason. Let's see. You could be the first one going up the stairs here. This is a pretty good spot for an overwatch stance. And I think the captain is choosing this. That's a good spot, captain. Okay. So. Let's see what happens out here. Huh? Teddy Toothpick, you're already in. Okay, let's see how far you could get up here. Ah, oh, there's some nice word stone out there, I see. Let's just see if we can get you around here. Up this way. Oh, yes. There's a balcony right out here. But we gotta watch out. From what I hear, the Skaven have ranged attackers as well. Ooh, see. Ah, there we have one. There we have one. And we know that there is one who stepped in something here. Coming maybe this way. Yeah, this is a good overwatch position for you. There he is. Okay. Nice, Teddy. Nice spot. And Nero the hero. Let's see if we can... Take you up the same way as Teddy Toothpick. How far can you go? This is okay for now. We're gonna get you out on that balcony. Dodgy Dan, second frontliner today, it seems. Ah, is that a straight line? Yeah, well. Seems as if you're gonna have to cover this. Yeah, the captain saw that right away. Ah, good. And Sheldon Shieldwise, if you block the stairs, we're all gonna be safe and secure. That's how we feel, I guess. Let's just see if you can just, you know, stand there and they'll all be scared, I guess. There, and turn. Nice. Okay. And Herman Henchman, are you going to leave me out here too? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Ah, oh, you're going to take a... Ah, nice place. Well chosen. Okay. And Howard Howler, are you going to leave me too? You are? Okay. Ah, oh, you're not. Ah, thanks. Thanks. Okay. Well, well they are going to charge me anyway. Aren't they? I think they are. Yeah, well, let's see. Yes, a new round has a started. A new round has started. You got a report to us, Teddy Toothpick. You see any movements out there? You tell us. All right, you tell us. Okay. Let's just check in out here. Let's just see the map here. He disappeared from over here. He's, oh, he's still there. Okay, he's still there. Hmm. All right. I was not ambushed this turn. I am pretty grateful for that. So I'm gonna see what kind of damage I can deal from the upstairs balcony. Let's see. Let's see if there's any any hope around here. What about this guy over here? I don't know if there is a guy over here, but someone could come. Nope. So it seems as if that balcony, it's not big enough for three, I think. Well, actually it might be. It might be. Okay. And we can get down to these fields. That's good as well. So let's see. An overwatch stance. Right here. Ooh. Okay, 
So we're lining up a firing line. Trying to see if we can spot them anywhere. Nope. And the captain. You could just wait. I can tell you about the captain. <laughs> Guess who just dropped by Mordheim War Camp today? Yes, the captain's twin brother. Yeah. Mark Muckshot, you don't just drop by in Mordheim City of the Damned. This is a total other realm. But he just stopped by. I guess he heard about Nero and Pierre Paré, huh? Okay, Teddy, you could just take another Overwatch stance. Anyway, he must have heard of, about the new recruitments. So, um, let's see if uh, Mark and Mason can find out a deal. Maybe Mark is gonna be our next recruitment, huh? Mark Mockshot. Reserve Captain. Yeah. That could be good. That could seriously be good. So, oh, I think Sheldon Shieldwise is making space for, uh... For Herman Henchman as the other first front line. I wonder what Howard Howler is gonna do. Um... Well, the captain is asking Dodgy Dan to place himself over here. Oh, this is a nice shooting line. Oh, this is good. This is good. Okay. And Nero the hero, maybe you should check out some... There's a window here, yeah. Let's just see. Ah, uh, can we see... Ah, uh, you, you, you see that? You see him out there, Nero? Why don't you see if you can take a shot out there? If he... If he runs, I don't know. I don't know if you can. You can't target him now, but maybe he gets closer. Yeah, nice placement there, Nero the hero. Nice. And Herman Henchman, it looks like uh, Sheldon Shieldwise made a little spot for you over here. Yeah. And you got a 61% parry chance. Okay. Okay. And Howard Howler, what are you gonna do, huh? Oh, yeah. That's a good ambush spot right there. That's a good ambush spot. Oh, yeah. That looks good. That's really good. And the round is ending with you. A new round has started. Wonder what's going on out there, huh? Let's just see. Do you see anything, Teddy? Oh, you see anything there, Nero? Nah. They have been gathering some wordstone already. We haven't taken anything yet. Ah. I don't see anyone look at that down there. It's a nice cluster and a shard. You gotta jump from over here, but this is this is really risky at this point because we don't know the location of them, any of them. So I'm I'm not gonna risk anything. I'm just gonna see here. He's still over here, and there's no one new in sight. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna delay here, wait and see what happens. I think the captain is probably gonna delay as well. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So. We need to spot them before we can make any more moves. We're all just waiting here. But things are looking good. Even though we're just waiting in patience here. I mean, we built the kitchen today. We finished it. We even have wood left over. Teddy Toothpick. Yeah, it's a nice kitchen. Very nice kitchen. And we were talking about making a bigger barrel for our toilet. I mean, yeah, sorry. It's not nice hearing about it, but basically we just have a bucket. And we need a barrel. We have had so many new recruitments, so we need a bigger toilet and maybe even a door. But the best part is, I guess I've eaten my final oatmeal porridge.
So it's gonna be a proper meal tonight. We're gonna have slushy. Uh, sushi, I think. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. No more oatmeal porridge. We're just putting everyone in different waiting positions, different stances, and Howard Howler here is gonna end the turn. Okay. A new round has started. So let's see if, uh, let's see if you can spot anyone, Teddy. There was someone coming from over there, but where could they be? Anyway, like I said, our water supply is uh, almost half full by tonight, I think. So things are going well again. Uh, back home. That's nice to know. Ooh, so you see any movements now? Is he going for that other field down there? I can't spot him down there. Captain, I think we need to make some movements around here. Is there no one over here either? No. Well, it's not up to me to decide. No, so I am gonna delay once more. And the captain seems to follow my example. This is just patience, really. Patience. And it's my turn here, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go into an overwatch stance again here until the captain tells us to do something else. He's also waiting. Let's see. No one else. Still. Okay. So overwatch some more. It's a pity you can't reach him here. And then you probably wouldn't be able to reach him by the balcony either. Does he have space for any more? Or is he just waiting out there? Okay. Um, overwatch. We're gonna have to see some movement. We're gonna hope to get them within reach. And a parry stance. It's looking good from you, Sheldon Shieldwise. Your partner here on the stairs. Herman Henchman blocking everything. Okay, and what are you gonna do? Same? Yeah. Okay. A new round has started. So let's see if anything happens out here, huh, Teddy? Let's keep a close eye here. No. No. Listen, I got an idea, Teddy. How about you uh, and um, Nero the Hero, you switch places, huh? Let's just see. He's still out there. All right. Hmm. Just gonna delay. Like before. Captain is doing the same. Delay. Hmm. Still no one else in sight, so Overwatch it is. I wonder what the captain is gonna do. Is he just gonna wait here? Oh what's he doing? Okay, so he's Exposing himself. Trying to lure them closer. He should be careful. Okay. Okay, guys. We need to uh, to cover the captain. If they're going to come running for him now. They can sniff him or something. I don't know. So, stay alert, boys. I don't think... The captain told Dodgy Dan to do anything, but... Seems as if Dodgy Dan is a bit on the edge here. 
Hmm. They were all there last time. The firing squad met the Skaven Rat Packs. Stay alert here, Nero. We need to pop him as soon as he moves. I think he's the closest. Let's just see out here before we end the round with you, Howard Howler. Ah, the captain is out here. Okay. So you're gonna take an ambush here. And end the round. A new round has started. Okay, a new round has started here. Hmm. Let's see. Anyone running for the captain? Can they sniff him out? Okay, what do you see, Nero? Nothing? Ah, oh, man. You delay in some more here? You too, Captain? Okay. Teddy, we need to keep our eyes open up here. Nothing? Okay. So we're just waiting for the captain's orders. Holding down the fort. And the captain, he's just checking the corners there. Watch for traps right there, captain. You really want to go out this far? There are no open windows up there that can cover us. Let's just take a look here, Captain. This place over here would be a good spot for us, but we're going to be exposed out there in the open. Well, that seems pretty risky there, Captain. Out there all on your own? Yeah, I don't like it either, Teddy. But we just got to keep the Captain's orders. And Nero, you keep a close eye out there as well, right? Yeah, I mean, we're all just waiting for whatever the captain is up to. Shelton Shieldwise, too. Dodgy Dan. Okay. Come on, is he just gonna be out there all alone? Herman Henchman, too. And a parry stance and, and an ambush for Howard Howler. And a new round. A new round has started. Oh man, I don't like the captain standing out there. He's keeping a good eye on everything. He's still out there. Come on, captain, we need to do something. I mean, it's not my place to say what orders you should give. You should be very careful there, Captain. Hmm. What about you, Captain? What are you gonna do? Looks like you're also gonna delay. See what's going on. You're really exposed out there. Once they turn up, they could be real quick. Let's see. There is no one else in sight. So, we're still gonna do what the captain tells us to do, but this is getting kind of ridiculous. Sorry, captain. Oh, where are you going now? Oh, yeah, that's looking good. We should go back that way around. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good idea. He's still asking us to stay up here, so maybe he wants us 
to cover him up here. Oh, you going out there as well? She's covering the front door. Okay, that's a nice move. To make sure that the captain can get right back in. Sheldon shoot wise. Are you delaying now? Okay. And Nero the hero with your fine yellow vest. Keep a close eye on him out there. So, oh, you going out. You gonna, you gonna join him? As far as I remember, I think uh, Herman Henchman has like four slots in his inventory. Okay, he's covering the captain. I like this. I like it. And Howard Howler, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna take the front door now, huh? Okay. I like that. Oh, you're just taking the stairs. Oh, nice. The two of you, you're really keeping us all safe here. Oh, I like this. And the Perry's Dance of 74. Nice. So, let's see. A new round has started. Okay, Teddy. See anything? No? Okay. We should watch that end. Behind us there, Teddy. Okay, let's see if he's doing anything now. He's probably the closest one. Is he just standing there? And it's my turn. I think I'm gonna go over here for a delay. Just try and see if I can assist if anyone comes around this way. But let's just see first what happens. I don't know if I've said this, but I got two shots. Let's just see here. Ah, oh, that captain, he is courageous. You could go pretty far. You should watch that if that's a trap. Oh, you delaying out there. to see. I think it's safe to approach there, Mason. Taking an overwatch here for you. Let's just see here. No one else in sight right now. Ah, he's going for an overwatch. I can understand that. Let's not get greedy right away, but it is yummy, yummy, yummy down there. Okay, Teddy Toothpick. Oh, man. Our captain is really exposed out there. Ah, oh, Sheldon, I feel so secure when you're on the stairs. And Nero keeping an eye on him. And... Oh, Dodgy Dan, are you going this way around? Are you gonna try and lure him closer now? Oh, man. You guys are some brave dudes, I must say. I must say. Okay, let's just see here. Still no one. So, and Herman, you going over here uh, to assist the captain with an ambush. Okay. I like that. But what I heard... Those rats, they can, they can really ambush far. Okay. Let's keep an eye here, Captain. A new round has started. I'm gonna keep an eye on both corners, but that word stone out there, yummy, yummy. Nero the hero. See anything up there? Teddy, see anything? 
I mean, beside those nice clusters and shards down there. Nope. Still nobody. I'm gonna delay for you here, Captain. Ready to give two shots to anyone closing in. All right, Captain. Let's let's just get this. We need it. Ah oh, man. Let's start big. Yeah, there's a word stone. There's a cluster. Right there. And there's a shard right there. And... The captain is probably not gonna take these. No, you see? He's not. He's not. And he's going back, yeah. Oh, to delay a bit. I see. I see. Maybe uh, Herman Henchman could uh, could take those fragments over there. Oh, there's nothing. There's nothing here. I guess they're gonna come from over here. Can I fire at anyone? Maybe from here I would be able to fire down there and down there. Let's see, this is probably the best spot right now. So an overwatch for me. And Mason, what are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna be waiting for Herman Henchman, I guess. Ah, oh, man, Teddy. We're just holding down this fort. Dodgy Dan, you still holding that corner? Okay. the hero you keep an eye on him you hear oh you probably miscalculated huh? so there is nothing still to see anywhere captain is gonna take an overwatch stance let's just see here Sheldon a parry stance on the stairs Herman Henchman got four free slots, and there are two fragments out there. So, let's just see. Got a, a deep buff there. It's too bad. Let's see, Herman. You better finish up that gathering down there and get back. You know? You're gonna take an ambush by the corner again? Yeah, nice. And you're holding the door as well? Nice. A new round has started. Oh, I don't see anyone. Do you see... Anything out there, Nero? Nothing? Uh, I'm looking at that cluster down there as well. Okay. So there's no more wordstone on this side. There's a shard down there. So... I'm getting ready to, to cover that as well. From my... Previous position up here. Just gonna delay again. See if anybody's closing in. Let's see, the captain, he can't switch weapons. And he has a minus 10% melee resistance. That's a bad combo. Right there. Anyway, maybe you should uh, fall back then, huh, captain? Oh, so you are joining Dodgy Dan out there. You can't switch weapons. You need to be careful, captain. My turn again. We should get to some of that word stone. But I can understand the captain. I mean, he knows the Skaven better than I do. Teddy Toothpick is taking an overwatch stance with me also here. Sheldon Shieldwise holding the stairs, making us all feel secure. Let's just see. Maybe you should fall a little bit back here, Dodgy Dan. Just to, you know, create a second 
front line here and make some space for the others. You keep a close eye on him, you hear, Nero? Yeah, you do that. And Herman Henchman, you should go. Yeah, he knows. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Awesome. And where are you gonna go, Howard Howler? Are you also gonna go out here, are you? Okay. Over here. Good view. Nice. Oh, you going into a parry stance. 77. Nice. A new round has started. Okay. You see anything, Howard? How about you, Teddy? You see anything? No? Uh. Oh, Nero, how about you? Watching him out there. And it's my turn. I'm just gonna delay once more. See what's going on down there. And it's the captain's turn. Okay, what's the captain gonna do? Oh, he's gonna go even closer. Okay. And let's wait and see, yeah. Let's just wait and see. Oh, man. Oh, man. I still don't see anyone. No one else has been spotted. And the captain, are you just gonna hold it there? See those gaps in the walls right down there? They're pretty far away from the captain. Yeah, Teddy, you and I, we need to be up here in Overwatch, and it's kind of frustrating that they're not closing in. And the captain is just asking us to stay up here. Oh, they're moving in slowly. Dodgy Dan is also taking a, an overwatch stance. Sheldon is taking care of us in here in case anyone should surprise us the other way or around the house or something. And so, Herman Henchman, what are you gonna do? Oh, you're going to the wall. To take an ambush, I guess. Yeah, nice. Okay. So we're securing those cracks in the walls over there. Oh, and you too, Howard. Oh, you're going even closer. This is nice. It's also really risky. And you're taking an ambush here as well. That means that the big crack in the wall up ahead is open and unguarded. A new okay. round has started. He's still up there, just standing there. He's probably waiting for us to go all the way out on the middle of the street. Okay, let's see if he's closing in now, huh, Nero? Let's see. I don't care what the captain says. I want to be in on the action down there. So what's the captain gonna do? Oh, he's gonna get behind the wagon. Oh, you're standing on a trap or something? You don't care, huh? Ah, oh, that's a good spot. They can't charge straight at you there, Captain. Now, let's see. Suspense, huh? Yeah, we didn't see anyone closing in. Oh, come on, Captain. You gotta let us join you guys. Well, we're just doing what we're ordered to do. Okay. This is looking good. Okay, we need to keep them safe down there, Teddy. Keep them safe. We got 
got Sheldon on the stairs. For us. And how about you, Dodgy Dan? So you're taking an overwatch with the captain, huh? Nice. the hero you should just keep overwatching down there and Herman henchman you still have two slots here oh so you're moving even closer now Ooh. yeah that's a good spot right there Herman it's a good spot yeah. okay and how it how the you need to take care of these two holes here. Herman Henchman is pretty far out there. Let's A see. A new round has started. Okay. All right. What do you see? Maybe it should be Howard Howler taking those wordstone out there on the street. He should have four free slots, I think. We still see no one. This is really weird. Wonder where they are. All of a sudden, they could be swarming in on us. Us rat pack. We must not underestimate them. I'm gonna delay. So where's the captain going now? Ah, he's placing himself in front of that trap over there, right in front of him. If anyone should charge in from that direction, they may step on it. Stop their approach. Okay. Still no one in sight. So we're just doing what the captain is telling us to do while they're slowly approaching. Those words stone out there. He's taking an overwatch. So is Teddy Toothpick. This has really turned into camping. And Nero the hero as well. And an overwatch stance. And you too, probably. Ah, oh, you're following the captain, huh? Yeah. Oh, you're going even further. Okay. And a parry stance there. Okay. Let's see. You still have two slots here. Oh, you're going to the other side now. Ah, okay. And Howard Howler. Oh, you're going out here. I still don't see anyone, but this is risky. Howler, this is really risky. You're standing with your back to the street. You're totally cool, man. Oh, man, Howard. A new round has started. Let's just keep an eye on that piece of rat sack over there. Not sure I'm liking this. Okay, some, something's going on now. Some, he's coming there. He's coming around that way. Nice one, Teddy. You got the first blood today. Ah, uh, he's going down. That wasn't good. That was not intentional. Okay, but you, you got a counter. Nice one, Herman. All right, so we got a fight here. Why didn't I shoot him? Why couldn't I take him down there? I don't. I don't understand that. But the captain has asked us to stay up here, and I see why. It's a good position uh, to cover them. I, I see it. I'm just gonna take a delay here, but we should be able to give some range damage from down here. But oh, maybe, maybe the captain can do that together with Dodgy Dan. Oh yeah. Yeah, see, the captain never misses. Nice one, captain. Nice one. 
So let's just see. You're gonna go into an Overwatch stance here to cover if anybody else comes up. That's a pretty good idea. Let's just see here. He's got 129, and Herman Henchman has 133. This is not too good. Um, but there is no one else in sight. I'm gonna stay up here like, like the captain told us to do, but I don't like the fact that I can't damage him down there. I can't help. I really want to help down there. I'll tell you, maybe you can provide some damage down there, huh? Oh, you got a good shot there, huh? Oh, man, that's too bad, Teddy. That's too bad. And we need to go into an Overwatch stance up here, Teddy, to provide some protection from any incoming. So, Sheldon. Sheldon is leaving us here. Yeah, well. They need us more out there, I guess. Yeah, Sheldon, you... You really want to help, huh? Yeah, well, it's okay. It's, it's okay. I get it. Oh. 43% hit chance for you here. 43. 63 here. Yeah. Nice one. Nice one. And you can reload and just end the turn there. That's a bit risky. Dodgy Dan, that's a bit risky. You're following orders well here, Nero, but I think we should maybe go to the others now. Okay, Herman Henchman, you can attack. <laughs> yes, you can. That's right. That is right. Oh, you got a 95% chance to attack again. Let's do that. <laughs> nice! Herman, that is so perfect. That is so perfect. Let's just see here. He's down to 26. 26, Herman. Oh, are you delaying? I like that. It's time to loot, isn't it? And what are you gonna do, Howard Howler? Are you going for this? Yeah, I gotta understand that. Oh, so you got you got four slots here. And there may be a cluster for us to loot on that rat pack sitting on his knees right now. That's good. That was the cluster. Ah, oh, man, that was nice. Oh, look at that. Look at that movement range. You see that circle there? That one is really small. Okay. We're just gonna take this last one. We're not gonna be able to do anything else with Howard Howler this turn, huh? Oh, man. Let's just see. Plus 20% armor absorption. That's a nice one. And then he has minus two meters movement range. Hmm. This is two turns. This is bad. So we're not going to take this fragment. It's just a fragment. We really need to be sure to have something to loot from, from this rat pack over here. So we'll just have to go as far as we can. Look at that ambush stance. It's just like no further than you can spit or something. Well, that's it. So we were not gonna put him down this, this round, this dude. So you're just gonna have to take a parry stance right here. So now let's see if anybody's gonna pop up to try and see if they can help him. A new round has started. They may turn up somewhere. I don't see anyone. Well, let's just move this red beam right up here. Let's see, it's gonna be this guy's turn in just a minute. Ah, oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, nice one! Through the wall even, Herman. That's a new trick. He did well. And a dodge stance. Can take him out nice and slowly. He has 26 health. That's all. And I'm really thinking of jumping down there. Taking that 
where it's stoned down. Yeah, look, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Ah, nice jump there. You guys see that? You guys see that? Okay. I'm just gonna take a look here. There is... Oh, there's one over here. Just as I jumped down. Why couldn't I see him up there? Okay. He's pretty close. I don't like that. Right over there. And he's got some poisonous stuff. Oh, man. Anyway. I'm not gonna take that yet. I'm just... Hi there, Captain. I just figured out that you might need some assistance. Right? Please tell me I'm right. So let's let's just see if we can uh, give you a shot there. Right there. Ha! <laughs> nice. I'm gonna reload. And I'm gonna put myself in an overwatch stance here. Because you know what, Captain? There's someone coming. A hero is coming. So let's let's see what we can do about this. Nice, Captain. Nice. Awesome. You still have one slot, so you could loot this guy. Let's see what he's got. Captain. He's got a cluster. That's good. But look at this. This is like nothing, right? Nothing. Okay. So. <laughs> Let's just see. Now there are two of them. And one of them is the leader. I don't like this. I should have stayed up on the balcony. I see that now. However, we could probably fall back. I think that's what the captain is doing here. Let's go into the house again if we can make it. Right? Captain. There are still two that we haven't seen. Uh-oh. Here comes another one. Did you see that, Teddy? Oh, I see him. Yeah, he's up here. And these two are coming. Either this way around, or this way around. So, let's see here, Teddy. Nah, you can't get a shot in. That's too bad. But an Overwatch stance is a good thing right there. And I guess Nero... The hero you need to come out as well. I actually think that you would be able to provide a pretty good shot. Yeah, you like that spot, right? Let's see. I hope you can get a nice shot in there. You're looking good with your yellow vest. And dodgy Dan. Let's get you a little further back. Huh? Maybe you should get around the corner. Like, like over here. If they should pop up. This is a good spot. Yeah. And Sheldon. Oh, you're running back here. To us. I like that. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> well... I exposed myself outside, but the others? Oh, you're taking an ambush. I like that. Like that. And then maybe you should see Herman and what you could take here. Yeah. Well, let's just take these fragments here. A shield and a spear. That's really nothing. Ah, you can move even further. Three meters now, huh? That's a lot. So maybe we should use that. Yeah. Wow, you could get really far. Ah, oh, you're covering the corner there. That's a, that's a nice move. Okay. And Howard Howler. More space. And you can hardly move anywhere. Well, that's kind of pathetic. But what an ambush. You could have used a few of those meters that Herman Henchman got. Anyway... Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see. A new round has started. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you? Oh, oh, here he comes. He's he's running around for the corner. Why did why didn't any of you shoot? What's he doing? Ah. Ah. Oh, that's too bad, Nero. 
That's too bad. Ah, uh, he's... He's also running to the corner. Ah, uh, he's almost around the corner. I think we need to get inside. Like, real quick. I think I'm gonna take a good position up here. As far up here as I can. Maybe... Maybe I can get all the way around. If I'm lucky. And I can cover the stairs from up here. Oh, this is a good spot. Right there. Okay. Let's see. Hey, Captain. How far can you get? You going in, huh? Yeah, well, maybe I would suggest we all come in, right, Captain? Let's just see. And you trapped yourself now, there, Captain. That's not good. So maybe you're gonna have to stay right here. There's another one coming. Oh, that was the one over in the house. Now it's the one over in the house. He's still there. Oh, man, they're really showing up now. Ooh, there are a lot of them now. And this guy, that's the leader. He's closing in fast. Okay. And Teddy Toothpick. Ah, that's a nice spot. So if we make a little room, Nero the Hero can be here as well. Overwatch right there. That's good. And how about you? Dodgy Dan, let's see if we can get you. Ah, oh, you can't get up the stairs behind Sheldon Shieldwise either, but maybe you could be here. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. And Sheldon, what are you gonna do, huh? Ah, you're always running forward. That's what you do. That's right. That's what you do. Are you gonna take the front door? I like that. I like that. We're all gonna feel safe. And Nero, let's see. Did we leave enough space for you here? I think we did. And you can take an overwatch as well. And Herman Henchman. And you're gonna stand behind this bench because that's gonna lure them in, right? And then they're gonna go into Sheldon Shieldwise's ambush. Let's see how far we can get Howard Howler. Uh, he can't be behind there, but he could maybe be here then, huh? This is good. So let's just see. We got everyone in. And we got them all coming for us. I like it. Ambush for you, Howler. A new round has started. Okay. What's going on? Ah, uh, we're well positioned, but someone is doing something outside. Can hear him. Oh, oh, what was that? Ah, that's too bad, Nero. That's too bad. Here he comes. Oh, the hell could he charge over a bench? And he's got a dagger. That's not good at all. So who's coming in next? Ah, look at those red eyes. I do not like these Skaven. And here comes the leader. He's out there, he's coming in. Ah, why can't we target any of them? What's wrong with our fires? Ah, oh, nice one, Sheldon, nice one. He's coming. Ah, that one hurt. That one hurt. Ooh, nice one, Sheldon. You're doing good with that spear. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
I do not like those. Look at me. I got three attacks. It's not a two-handed weapon. Okay, that's why. Nice job, Sheldon. Look at that dripping poison from that blade or that spear or whatever. Look. You got a little greeting from Mage Master. Nice. Okay, let's just see outside here. See this guy? He's right out here. He's gonna be able to run past those two. And Howard Howler is gonna engage on him. But this means we're all gonna be one on one. I don't like those odds. I'm gonna try and see if I can get an Overwatch shot when he steps through that door. So, Captain, what are you gonna do? First of all, you should reload. How about dealing a little bit of damage to this dude? Yeah, that's nice! Ah, oh, man, that's nice! And then you should take anyone coming in through the door there, huh? Nice, Captain. He never misses. So, let's see what happens. We have been given one more turn. So, Teddy Toothpick, load your stick and stick it to him. Let's see. Ooh, nice one. Good, good, good. And you can reload and take an overwatch stance, Teddy, to stop anyone coming through that door while we chop these guys to pieces. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. And Nero, let's see. If you reload... You should take an overwatch as well. I mean, we have three shots by the door right now. So let's see, Sheldon. Let's see. So, let's see. Ah, he dodged that one. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. But you're doing good on your parry stances. Let's see. And dodgy, Dan. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, let's see. Ah, you can get him out there. Oh, he's standing right out there, and that's their, that's their hero. Okay. Maybe, maybe you should just, you know, take an overwatch here, so whoever moves gets your lead. Okay, Herman. I thought that bench would be enough. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. 35. Huh? That's a good <laughs> one. Hey, 34 more. Nice. Nice. Take a parry up there. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's just do that. And and how how are you doing with um let's just see what was that ninety-five? That's a swift charge on that guy. How about a swift charge on, on this guy? That would be nice. Yeah, yeah, go for it, Holler. Sixty-two! That was a good one! And right now, you're blocking the door. So no one is going to be able to charge or anything. You, you just closed it off. Perry stands out. A hour. new round nice. has started. Okay. Okay. What is he throwing at you, Dodgy Dan? What is he throwing at you? Not poison. No way. <laughs> you got stunned out there and you got hit, Herman. You got to dodge, Herman. Or Perry or... Do something, please. This this is not good. Okay, you're taking an ambush way out there. That's wise. Oh, ah, that's good, that's good, that's good, Shatlin. Nice. Ooh, he can dodge as well. Don't, 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 don't. No, please. Oh, he oh, you stood your ground there, Howard. You took it well. No, God, Sigma, help us out here. Okay, listen, getting a shot in on him would mean that we would take one of them out of action. That would be good for us. Ah, uh, sorry, Howard. Uh, what am I gonna do here? I think I'm gonna have to take an overwatch stance. Yeah, that guy's stunned out there. I don't know if he's gonna show up at the door. If he does, this guy's probably going to be dead by then. Oh, let's see. Yeah, let's just, let's, let's see. Let's see. There's a 94% chance. Okay, Captain, let's just see here. This guy's got 20. 
This guy's got 135. This guy out here, he's he's stunned. Ah, maybe he's an easy target, huh? Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. And then you could probably just, you know, stretch this point a bit and you can reload. Yeah, and then you could uh, you could be up here. That would be a good spot for an Overwatch stance right there. Yeah, let's take an Overwatch there and see what happens here. So the enemy is getting to his feet out there. Is that him? No. No, something's going on down there. Let's just see. And you, Teddy, can you get a shot in on him? Yeah, that was a good one, Teddy. Nice one. Nice one. And then you should cover the door, I think. Yeah, let's cover the door, Teddy. Yeah, nice. Nice. And, and let's just take a look. What's happened to you, Dodgy Dan? You, you have wither. Even though it looks as if you're poisoned, this is some magic stuff. Well, that's lucky for you, because that would be a bad belly right there if you, if you were looking like that. Let's just see here. You're like quarter to half covered. Yeah, we need to take him out. He's a hero. He has a, a big impact on, on morale. So. Ooh, that's a nice one. Nice one. Okay. But you could, you could reload. Yes. And, and then you could, uh, you can actually switch weapons. But that's not what you're gonna do now. You're gonna go into a dodge stance of zero percent? Well. <laughs> yeah, well. Let's see, Sheldon. Could you take care of this dude? Oh, he's dodging too well. I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, um, how about, how about we do, we do it this way? Yeah. Yep, that's exactly what I was gonna ask you to do. Let's see, Sheldon, you, you don't have anything in your luggage. Oh, look at these good things. Man, the captain's gonna love you for this. Now that war block pistol there, it's gonna be worth a lot of gold. More than, than one word stone here. And the word stone is gonna stay. We can't get past any of those guys right now. You trapped right there by the door. But that doesn't matter, I guess. You are gonna go into a parry stand right here in the corner. And Nero, how can you assist here? Oh, you could do some damage to him from here. That's good. Yeah, that's a good shot, that one. Wow, that must be the yellow vest, huh? Assisting you with that. Oh, that was nice. But you're standing right in front of the window, so let's let's just move you a little bit to the side here. Reload there, Nero. Awesome. Okay. And Herman. Give it to him, huh? He's got 69. Ah, he's a dodger as well. I don't like that dodging thing. Okay. But just... Yeah, that's it. That's it. 32. I like that. I like that. Wait a minute. Howard Howler can do some serious damage as well. So, would you just delay, Herman? Delay. And let's see. Let's just see here. See, uh, Howard Howler, maybe, maybe you could, uh, you can loot. So you can take this last one. So you've got a full inventory as well. Okay. And then... Can, can you do some damage to this guy? As well? Then let's see. Yeah, well done! Howard Howler! The round is ending right now, and and if this guy's got blue gear, he does not. But what he does have is a shard. That's better than a fragment. But these things, a shield, a dagger, and a shuriken, they're gonna get lost. They're not worth much. 
So let's see how much Herman can loot out of that. And you should, you should, um, see Sheldon is in a parry stance. We should delay this, this giant here. So you guys, you guys, you should swap places, you know? Okay, how much have you got? Ah, uh, you fool. Ah, uh, you can't take any. Okay, Herman. And then you should probably just get away, huh? You, you could go over here. Uh, maybe up here. Ah, uh, you could just stand here. Then, in a pair of stands of 61. Okay. I can see their morale is, uh, 44 to 44. The red bar up in the left corner. And Howard Howler, you should just, you know, go over here in an ambush stance by the door. Nice. Yeah. You are gonna end this round. A new round has started. And here comes the hero. Ah, oh, nice shot, Teddy. What, what, what you doing? What the? Oh, you taking that, that. You're going into an ambush stance. That's kind of weird, isn't it? So someone else is coming. Whee! He dodged it. Whee! Well done, Howard. Well done. Okay, so we got another dude down there. So let, let's see. This guy, you need to taste some of this. Yeah, nice. This time, I'm not taking an overwatch. This time, we're dealing damage. We're dealing damage. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm just going to reload. Actually, I should probably get into a new position down here. This spot would be good maybe over here even yeah this spot is better this spot is really good nice let's just see this guy has 97 he's not engaged so oh here is a good shot percentage huh? uh, 38 less now ah uh, I like that Nice one, Captain. You never miss. This is so good. So, oh, you, oh, you're going for another shot. Wee, twenty-eight. You're really doing some good damage right now. You're switching weapons, are you? Okay. Okay. Oh, and a 95% parry stance. That's good, Captain. That's really good. Oh, what's going on now? Oh, and Teddy Toothpick. Can you, can you maybe take that nasty looking dude down? Ooh, that is a good percentage. We 22! Nice! Really nice. Oh, man. You got a 95% chance. Oh, he's got nine life left. Let's just see. Whee! You did it, Teddy! You took him out of action! Ha <laughs> ha! That's good. You can't reload or anything. You might as well just take a dodge stance. Okay. And Sheldon. Okay. So, uh, let's just see if I can, can I get past him? I could, he could, okay. Let's just see if we can engage this guy and maybe we can make him fail his all alone test. I don't, I don't know. So we, we should probably take you into a parry stand. Yes, that's good. And Nero the hero. Let's just see. Oh, you could you you could still get a good percentage. Give it a go, Nero. Wee! That was a good shot. Thirty-seven. Nice. Nice. You should take a dodge. Yeah. Okay. Nice one, Nero the hero. Nice one.
and dodgy Dan. How about if you could... Ah, oh, you can't... You just can't get that way around. Okay, let's see. Can we get this way around? You can. Because if you could go and take that, you really should not engage. Ooh, that was close. I did not like that. Let's just see here. There's a, there's a loot right there with a nice spear. Okay. You got the good quality blue spear. Awesome. And that means that you could, if you get, you, could you get on the other side of this table chest thing right back here? Whoa. You could get over here. That's good. And you could actually fire. Yeah, an overwatch is probably better. That's good. That's good. And let's see here. See, they're gonna have to go for a route test now. And Herman Henchman, you don't have too much health. So maybe you should just place yourself up here and switch weapons. Yeah, like that. Awesome. And then Overwatch stands for you. Perfect. And let's see. Howard Howler. Let's just see. Give him some. Yeah, that's nice. Nice. 65. I like that. Give him some more if you can, right? Oh, 54 more. Oh, that was a good one. I mean, wow. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens now. A new round has started. They failed! Ah! We won! Oh yeah! It was a battleground victory. There was some really good looting out there, and there was some really good gathering today, and we got a little gold coins with us as well. Wonder who found them? Hmm. We put five enemies out of action and lost no one, and no one got injured. And Howard Howler was honored most valuable warrior. It probably would have been me if I'd just stayed up on that balcony like the captain told me to. Hmm. I just wanted to help, right? Anyway, we did actually return with an injury, didn't we? And Howard Howler's treatment is gonna cost us six gold coins. And the rest of the mission only costed 45 gold coins, and it was overall a very successful mission. But who cares about that as long as it's a victory? All we cared about was that we were going home to a meal that was not oatmeal porridge. Some delicacy thing. Mmm, that's what we were talking about. And that's all we were looking forward to at this point. And the captain got four experience points and one physical advancement point. Nice, captain. And you showed some real courage and bravery out there, going out alone to bait them. Nice. And Howard Howler, you got a light wound. You stood your ground when you took a critical hit. And now you suffer from a flesh wound. Hmm, it takes a little time to recuperate. Two days. I guess when you get critical hits, you get an open wound with these chances of wounds. But at least you got an enemy put out of action, five experience points and one mental advancement point. That's pretty good. And Teddy Toothpick, you got four experience points and one mental advancement point as well. And you're close to ranking up to level four. Nice. And Dodgy Dan, you did some good shooting out there. You got a mental advancement point and three experience points. Nice one. And Sheldon Shieldwise, once again, you held the stairways. You got a mental advancement point because you're so cool. Nice. And four experience points. One enemy put out of action. Awesome. And there I am, three experience points for me, and a mental advancement point as well. And I'm close to ranking up to level three. Ooh, nice progress for the newest true member of the firing squad. Right, fellas? Have I mentioned that? I think so. And Herman Henchman, you got three experience points and is so close to ranking up to level four. Nice. No advancement points for you today, but in one experience point, 
you will receive something, I'm sure. Well done. And Nero the hero with your yellow feather and vest to fit the feather. You got three experience points and a mental advancement point. And look at this, Nero. You're close to ranking up to level one. Your first rank. Nice. And as a warband, we got two experience points. Nice. Now let's see who got what at yesterday's sweet moment. And the Captain Mason mugshot. What courage and bravery you showed out there. And you really took good care of us, tucking us away in that house safe and secure. But you were probably a bit too overcautious, if you ask me. It took too long, Captain. It took too long. Anyway, you were pretty happy because we brought home two good quality spears and even a good quality shield. But one of the good quality spears is the Spear of Slaying, providing two to maximum weapon damage. And you'll be taking that for yourself. And you'll be giving the other spear you had to Donny Dodger, I believe. And you were also given an advancement point in physical, and you'll be using that for toughness. That would boost your wounds a bit and your resistances. Nice. And Howard Howler, what a good job you did out there. You were hit by a critical strike, but you stood your ground, and now that's costing you two days of recovery from a light wound. But you were given a mental advancement point, and you're going to be using that for leadership to boost the morale and some of these resistances down here. Look at this all alone. Nice. Now rest up, Howard. We will see you in a couple of days. All right. And Herman Henchman, what a good job you did out there. You were a true first frontliner. You were up front all the time. You're the first one out by the wall, the first to get engaged. You even took a fight behind a bench. Anyway, you did a good job out there, and you are going to be given the Spear of Luck, the other spear we found out there of good quality, and you just need one more experience to rank up to level four. Nice first frontliner we got here. Awesome. And Dodgy Dan, what a good job you also did out there, and some good shooting, and you even covered the front door on several occasions. You were making us all feel safe. Nice. You got an advancement point in mental, and you're going to be using that to boost your morale with the leadership and the resistances of all alone terror and fear. And there I am, Mage Master. Well, there was no gear for me, but I was given a mental advancement point. I'm going to start using those for intelligence so I can start learning spells and stuff. Nice. And I think I'm going to be putting this antidote back. I may take a poultice, I think. Yeah, it can remove one open wound effect. That would have helped Howard Howler quite a bit. So I'm going to take that with me instead. Nice. And Teddy Toothpick, you also did a good piece of shooting out there today. Wow. And you were given an advancement point in mental. You're going to be using that for leadership to boost the morale and some of these resistances down here. And it looks as if you are soon to rank up to level four. Just two experience points. Nice. This is exciting. Well done. And Nero the hero with the yellow feather and the vest to fit the feather. You two did a tremendously good job out there of shooting and waiting, which was what the captain told us to do, and some of you did. Anyway, uh, you were given an advancement point in mental, and you're going to be using that for leadership to boost the morale a bit and some of these resistances down here. But what's even better is, look, you are close to ranking up to level one, Nero. This is exciting. Nice job. And Sheldon, shield-wise, here you are stripped from all your heavy gear. Here, but that's because you're lending it to Pierre Paré. He is coming with us on a mission today, and you are not because you got some serious bad belly. Look, I'll tell you all about that later. Anyway, you were given an advancement point in mental, and you are going to be using that for leadership to boost the morale a bit here and the resistances down here. And here he is, Pierre Paré, our newest member of the firing squad on his first mission he's gonna be taking some good quality gear 
a spear and the good quality shield we found out there. This is going to be giving him some protections, but he's going to stay a bit back. So the dueling pistols is his primary weapon. Nice, Pierre. Nice. Okay, let me just tell you guys real quick that yesterday's episode, it was way too long. And I've talked to the captain about this overcautiousness. So it's never gonna be that long again. I promise. I mean, I promise. And I always keep my promises. And yesterday, I promised you that I'd show you Howard Howler's master plan after I lured it out of him with just four mugs of ale and meat. And of course, I'll keep that promise. But hey, you know that these plans are tired. Top secret, right? So don't tell the captain I showed it to you, okay? I mean, I could get fired for this stuff, you know? Now let's take a look at the captain's master plan for... Howard Howler, Divine Wolf Priest Spellcaster, a melee hero and a first frontliner. Every warband member of the firing squad has four personal objectives, counting the first objective as the standard contract. To become a true member, everyone has to survive five missions and put five enemies out of action. Once that is accomplished, they can progress in the star ranking system as a trooper. And he can gain a star by putting another 15 enemies out of action, making it a total of 20 enemies put out of action. If he does that, he gains a star and the rank of a true trooper. And he can achieve a second star by casting Ulrich's Gift on an ally who puts an enemy out of action with it. If he does that, he gains a second star and becomes a star trooper. And he can achieve a third star and the highest rank of a tri-trooper by training and mastering three divine spells. Now let's take a look at the specific stats, spells and skills specified by the captain. There are three spells, two active skills and four passive skills in all, and they will all be mastered. Let's start with the spells. And the first spell is a buff called Ulrich's Gift that can be applied to a single ally. It increases the ally's melee hit chance and melee damage by 20% and it grants immunity to all alone, but unfortunately it prevents the use of flee, disengage and ranged attacks and skills. And the second spell is Snow King's Decree. It is a debuff that can be cast on a single enemy. When this enemy performs a melee attack or a ranged attack, they will inflict 20 to 30 damage to themselves. And the third and last of the spells is the Frostbite. It is also a debuff that can be cast on a single enemy. It deals 24 to 34 damage and reduces the maximum strategy points by 3. Now let's take a look at the active skills. The first one is Swift Charge. Now he will be mastering this skill, so this is a charge performing a melee attack that has a 20% chance to hit. It deals 25% damage extra and bypasses 30% of the target's dodge and parry chance. The target may counterattack with a minus 10% chance to hit. And the second and last of his active skills is Web of Steel. He will be mastering this skill, so he can take a defensive stance that ends the current turn. And the stance allows three attempts to parry incoming melee attacks, and a successful parry attempt will reduce the cost of a counterattack by one offense point. And now for the passive skills. His pre-made passive skill is Heart of the Wolf. It increases the chance to pass all alone, fear and terror and leadership tests by 35%. His second passive skill is Flash Parry. He masters this and increases his parry chance by 20%. And his third passive skill is Knowledge Tactics. He will be mastering this skill and increasing his dodge and parry chance by 15%. And the fourth and last of his passive skills is Retaliation. It will increase his chance to hit for counterattacks by 20% because he will be mastering this skill. And this is his personal Warband member master plan sheet. Planned out and masterminded by the captain himself.
And you can find this sheet and many more in the Captain's Book of Master Plans. It provides a good understanding and a deep insight into Mage Master's amazing adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. And so a new damn day is dawning in Mordheim and it's time to look at the daily report. And Howard Howler is still receiving treatment for his light wound. He'll be back in a day and the Baron has given us two more days to deliver the requested shipment and avoid any consequences. All right. Let me just tell you guys real quick about last night's dinner. Well, boy, have I got some shitty news for you guys. Literally. You know that we were all looking forward to eating that Eastern delicacy called sushi, right? Well, apparently that's not just something with fish, but with raw fresh fish. Yeah, but Perry Perry, he couldn't get any fresh fish at the docks yesterday. So instead he made it with raw chicken. Yeah, you heard right. Raw fresh chicken. It tastes it really bad but we all tried to give him a break and you know pretend to like it well sheldon shieldwise did i think he even had a second helping but the captain didn't even want to taste it anyway we started vomiting so that was a pretty big giveaway right and that was just for starters let's just say that our tiny toilet bucket was really put to the test and after we all emptied our bellies both ways we ended up making a pot of oatmeal porridge and the captain was fuming and furious he made it pretty clear that perry perry only had one more chance and that he no longer decides the menus we do from now on and he's put on toilet duty indefinitely so the dodger brothers got to pick the first menu something easy and since they're from a land called america they wanted barbecue their national dish i guess They'll even make the sauce themselves, so all Perry Perry has to do is grill the meat. So when we return from mission today, we will finally get some proper food grilled meat. I just hope we're all well by then, because we're all really haunted by some pretty bad belly bashing here, I can tell you. And though we could use a bigger toilet bucket, like, you know, a toilet barrel, made from some of the leftover wood we've postponed that project for tomorrow because uh, we're all saving our strength for today's mission and speaking of a mission here is the team we are sending into Mordheim City of the Dam today. And we're a party of only seven today, not for strategic reasons, but they were the seven of us that could actually stand. Starting from the left, me, Mage Master, and the Captain Mason Muckshot, as he is the only captain we still have. We have Herman Henchman as a first frontliner today, and Donnie Dodger as a second frontliner together with Pierre Paré on his first mission. Our eye in the sky is Teddy Toothpick together with Nero the Hero, the yellow feather with the vest to fit the feather. Nice. So let's go. And the captain has found us a hard mission today. Scavengers. Someone is marked for death. The wordstone gathering would be average and the scavenging would be poor. One warband is caught exploring buildings while the other deploys tightly around its wagon. A hard one today, Captain. Really? Okay. Exploring one of the city's old residential districts, you quickly discover that you aren't alone. Another warband is looting the nearby buildings. Dispersed in the ruins, the scavengers present an inviting target for your warriors as they deploy near your wagon. And we're in... Okay, first things first. Let's just check out the map while the captain is checking out his map. And hopefully he lays a master battle plan approach while we can check out who we're up against. The witch hunters it is. Flames of Sigma. There are two of them marked for death. And we are over here. Okay, let's see. It's time for deployment and to hear the captain's master plan for today's mission approach. Let's see. I would be here. 
And the captain could be here. And Teddy Toothpick is gonna be here. And Herman Henchman, a first frontliner here. Nice. Donnie Dodger should be there. And Pierre Paré in the middle, tucked in on a second frontliner. And Nero the Hero is gonna be here. And before we go any further, let's just hear the captain's master plan for today. The plan is that we all gather up along this house and keep tight. And about here, we will probably engage the enemy. We are going into the house and up and down the stairs fighting. We know that kind of fighting. Right here, there is a wordstone field right here and a lot of other wordstone around. But the problem is that they are probably dispersed in these buildings right here and could be upon us in the first round or in the second. Whatever. As long as we get into this house, things will be fine. Now let's see. The three question marks in the top of the screen indicating that three of them are moving. Two question marks in the top of the screen. Now we're just waiting. Oh man, this is a tough day. Yeah. So I'm the first one to move and I am gonna be moving up to this corner to see if I can spot anyone. Let's see, that could be a trap right there. Okay, let's see. Oh, here is one. He hasn't moved yet. He hasn't moved yet, so he could actually move pretty far, pretty close to us. Hmm, okay. So, this is the corner where we are gonna have to make a stand in the first place. But let's see if anybody else comes into shooting range. So I'm gonna delay here. I have two shots. I don't know if I've mentioned them. Sorry. Yeah, well, it's a tough day. Yeah, it's a pretty tough day. I can tell you all that uh, Mark, Mugshot, the captain's twin brother, he just stopped by yesterday, right after dinner. He stepped right into the chaos. So, no one else has popped up? Okay, fine. Let's just take an overwatch stance here and see. Anyway, Mark Mugshot, it seems that he is gonna be our second captain. So we are getting one. He was supposed to come today, but he stepped in through the door and um, what he saw was uh, not a pretty sight. I mean, after that raw chicken sushi, um, we were all not feeling that well. So Julius Caesar, he would probably have said that he came, he saw, he conquered. But Mark Mugshot, he came, he smelled the breeze, and he vanished like the wind, I guess. Okay, now we set this first part up. Let's see what he's doing up there. You okay? Okay, he didn't approach anything. Is he still here? No, he's gone. Okay, no one else in sight. This is good news, so we can move the rest up. Now, Herman Henchman, our first frontliner. Let's just see if he can... Ah, uh, he can't do anything else than this. But an ambush stance is covering the corner. Let's just see here. And the captain is in an overwatch stance, making space for Donnie Dodger here, who is a second frontliner to start off with. Seems that we're all stacking ourselves well here, sticking together. We just need one more turn each to get inside the house, I believe. Maybe just one. You thinking about barbecue there, don't you? And Pierre Paré on your first mission today. Nice. You stay close to the captain. Tell you exactly what to do, just don't shoot him. Okay. And Nero the hero is gonna end the turn. Now, Nero has a lot of more movement steps than this. 
but we need him to be one of the first ones to be inside the house up on the top stairs. Now let's end this round and see how things go. A new round has started. Anyway, Mark Mockshot is coming tomorrow. The captain's twin brother, so we have a reserve captain. Ooh. Ah, that's too bad, Nero. That's their leader. Oh, nice one. First blood there, Teddy Toothpick. My turn. Uh, what was that? Another pigeon? Did you guys see that pigeon? It just flew by the... I mean, did you... You didn't see it? Well, it's there. Oh, man, I, I just let that go. A little... Sorry, guys. It's hard to think about that nice barbecue back home waiting for us. I'll concentrate a little more here. Like, I mean, like... Hmm. Let's see. I just tiptoe a little bit closer to the corner because I would like to go into the house. I already spent one. Let's just see. Okay. Yep. That was a little greeting from Mage Master. I'm gonna try to concentrate a little bit more here. There may be others. I'm just gonna delay here for a second. Let's just see if any of the others are gonna move into range. Is that you, Teddy? Oh man, I'm just thinking about getting this over with and having some barbecue back home, oh man. You're thinking about barbecue there, Pierre Pre? Okay, let's see. So no one else. Oh, he is here. Okay, so he is probably gonna be here very soon. Looks like this is the corner where we're gonna take the first fight. We're gonna say a little hello to you once more. Yep, that's right. A little greeting from Mage Master. And then I'm just gonna take a defensive dodge stance in case anyone tries to jump me in some way. Now let's just see here, Captain. Maybe you should see if you could get a nice... Ooh, that's a good shot there, Captain. Yeah, I'll give it to him. <laughs> yes! Oh man, lining up in front of the firing squad? That's, uh, not smart there. That's not really that smart. And then, oh man, yeah. Yeah, you do that. And how about you, Teddy Toothpick? Oh man, Donnie. Yeah, let's... Oh, you got a nice shot percentage right there, too. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, this guy, <laughs> he is really getting hurt out there. Okay. Yeah, well, Pierre Paré, you better get away from him because he's gonna go for you. Um, so if you put yourself over here behind... Yeah, that's a good position. Just put yourself behind us and take an overwatch here. Let's see. And Nero, you got a pretty good <laughs> straight line right here, right? Let's just see how things are going. Well, we've taken half of his health. He's, uh... He's down to nothing. And even though he's the leader, he's not one of the marked ones. So, um, let's see. So, Nero, how about if we just, you know, take it nice and slow? You could, uh, have another shot in a minute. And Herman Henchman. Let's just see here. Ah, uh, you gonna cover me. That's nice. With a 61% parry chance. You think about barbecue there, Pierre Pre? And how about you, Donnie Dodger? Let's see if that's gonna do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good position. That's a good position. Oh. Oh, nice one, Donnie. Nice one. Oh, man, standing that close to the fire today. That's pretty courageous. Foolish, maybe. Oh, that's a nice one going into first front line here. Nice. A new round has started. Oh, man, don't stand too close. Oh, be careful there. Standing that close to the... Oh! 
What's going on? Wee, nice one, Nero! Okay. Ah, you missed. You missed? Okay. So, he's not gonna charge. Let's see. Oh man, I'm looking forward to getting this over with and just coming home to some good barbecue. Nice. And it's my turn. Okay, let's just see here. Maybe... I'm gonna go... Okay. Let's see. <laughs> this is bad! Whoa! I didn't see him! Wow! Okay, okay. Okay, don't, don't, no panic, no panic. I got this, guys, I got this, I got this. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I'm uh, just gonna tuck myself away right here. Okay, there is uh, someone in there. This is not too good. No problem, guys, I, I got this. I mean, uh, I got this. Okay, let's uh, just uh, stay here. If you ask me, Captain, let's just stay here. That dude. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Okay. He's coming. Ooh, nice one, Teddy. Huh? Okay. You gonna insult Donnie Dodge? Oh, that was stupid. That was stupid. Let's just take a look at this guy real quick. Okay, he's got almost 200 wounds. And he isn't either one of the marked ones. This guy is going down real soon. Let's see. Um, Captain, should we, you know, like, try to take a little bit of their morale away right here? Whee! You guys, you want to see how much health he's got left? One. He's got one. Ah, oh, come on. One. Huh? Oh, you're delaying. Okay. You're delaying. Teddy Toothpick, you start off with a reload here. Uh, maybe you should move a little further. You know, like stretch the point a bit. Let's see. Uh, this guy, he needs... <laughs> yeah, that's right, Teddy Toothpick. That's right. That's right. Let's see. Um, maybe uh, another arrow would be good. Huh? Let's see. Oh... 167. Ooh, nice one, Teddy! And you could take a dodge stance. Oh man, was that you, Herman? Here comes one more. Here comes one more. Okay. So he's gonna try to flank us. Take us from behind, huh? There's a crack in the wall over there. Okay, he went around that wall. Anyway. Herman Henchman, first frontliner, you go right in. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Ah, he came with a counterattack. Ouch, what a counterattack. Anyway, we need to be wise about this, so the smartest thing to do right now is to take it easy and be in a defensive stance. Right here. And Captain? Oh man, I'm looking forward to getting this over with and just coming home to some good barbecue. Nice. Oh, the captain is gonna help over here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ah, that's too bad. That's too bad. But our captain has a 95% parry chance. Oh, and Donnie Dodger, you... Oh, so you are gonna... Ah, that's a smart move. You're gonna cover their backs right here, huh? Ah, that's a smart move right there. I like it. Pierre Barret. So, Pierre Barret. Are you gonna try? Yeah. See if you can get some first blood in here. Huh, Pierre? <laughs> nice one, Pierre. Nice one. Okay, we need to tuck you away. You just stay right there. You can reload. And end the turn right there. And let's see, Nero. I 
Let's see if there are any more surprises out here. Nah. Okay, he's over here. Now, and there are no one else in sight. This guy's down to 90 wounds. Okay. So, Nero, let's just see. Yeah, we better just cover this area while we take down this dude on the corner. Okay. A new round has started. Oh, man. Wonder what kind of a rifle that is. Looks like, you know, big one. Okay. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna be the one doing some looting today. Let's just see. Yup! Yup! That's right! That's right! I just took out my sixth enemy. Oh, there he is, and a nice cluster right over there. And there are some shards over there also. That's the field. Let's just take a look at this. Okay. See, we got the... We got the field over here. We got him over here. We got another one here, and here's a marked one. Okay, he's standing probably in the doorway. Let's just see. Can we see him over there? Yeah, he's standing over there. Okay, now let's just see if I can sneak my way out here and maybe I can reload and then I can uh, I can stretch the mark here and see. Yes, I can do that so I can loot. Okay, let's see. Ah, that's a blunderbuss. Okay, and something else is weird. I th actually thought I had brought a potion of poultice with me. I didn't do that. Did I drop that somewhere? Anyway, I'm done here. I'm done here. So, uh, what I am gonna do here is, um, I'm gonna try and see if I... That is probably... Oh! Yep, it was 22, man! 22! That was a lot of damage for stepping on a trap. I think I'm gonna place myself here. So, uh, Pierre Paré can uh, be up along the wall. We're gonna take an overwatch stance right here. They're gonna come out through this hole in the wall. Let's see. Ah, oh, man, you keep insulting us, huh? Oh, nice one, Captain! What a dodge. But you didn't counterattack. Ah, oh, didn't have enough, huh? Ah, oh, man, let's just see here. This guy's da still down to 90. And these guys are not even bleeding. But we took their leader out. So, give it to him. No! Yeah, that's right, 34. That's a nice one. That's a real nice one. <laughs> 29 once more. Oh, man, that's good. That's good. Okay. The captain is delaying here. So you are reloading. And we need to take him out. Whee! Nice one. You guys want to see how much health he's got? He's got one. One. That's in one. <laughs> okay, what are the odds of that? Anyway, nice one, Teddy. Nice one. An Overwatch stance. Nice one. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay, what is he doing? He's going for some wordstone. Anything else? Oh, he's going for some more wordstone. Are you picking up that nice cluster for us over there? Seems that he's taking that cluster. Uh-oh. He's close. I like that. Let's just take a look here. Let's just see it. Oh. Oh. Look at this. Atma and Sigvard. All right. These are the two marked ones, and this is the hero. Okay, so, Pierre Paré, you should see if you could make an aimed shot here, huh? Let's see. <gasps> nice one, Pierre Paré! You just put out an enemy on your first mission. This is, like, awesome! So maybe, uh, you should have the honors of, uh, looting? Huh? You should. You should. This is it. Go for it.
Nice. Oh, okay. Be, be careful there, right? <clears throat> okay. A uh, great hammer. Wow. Anyway, few gold coins there. Well done, Pierre Paré. You now have your first official enemy taken out of action. That's amazingly well done. Well done. Okay, Captain. See this guy over here, right here. He's probably gonna wanna attack. Okay, let's just see. Oh, he is a hard hitter. Hmm. And he has a lot of health. But let's just see. Maybe the smart thing would be to lure him in. We could be three all over him in a second. He's gonna make a first front line with Herman Henchman, the captain, and Donnie Dodger. That's good thinking right there. And, and Nero? Oh, Nero, if you could be behind here like this, then Teddy and I can cover the two of you with your yellow vests. Let's just see, an overwatch there would be nice one, Nero. Good, good thinking. Good thinking. And Herman Henchman, what are you gonna... You just gonna put up a first front line right here in front of us and a parry stance of 61 this is nice you got us all covered here and donnie dodger maybe you should just stand here with your uh, circle and close the first front line our first front line is here and a parry stance and let's see how this turn ends that's exciting <laughs> Let's see what happens. A new round has started. Okay, here comes the first. Nice one, Teddy. Okay, he's proceeding. And nice one from Mage Master. You're gonna be looking like a porcupine. Okay, you're lining up in front of us. That was nicely done. Lining up right there. It's, it's like the shooting range, guys. Oh, man. You okay there, Teddy? And it's my turn. I'm just gonna step a little more to the side right here. I'm gonna reload. And this is a good position. To take a shot right here. Yep, that's right. <laughs> You're gonna be so full of needles. We're still covering the two at the back. So, I'll reload once more. And, uh, and let's get ready for the next one coming around the corner, maybe, through the doorway or whatever. Oh, man, I'm just thinking about getting this over with and having some barbecue back home. Oh, man. Okay, he's taking an ambush in there. And Captain, let's just take a look here. He's got 150. So what are you gonna do, Captain? Ah, oh, you're gonna throw a firebomb. All right, closing off that gap right there. That's a nice one. Oh man, was that you, Herman? Ah, so you're just gonna cover them. Okay. Okay. Nice one. And Teddy? Am I in your way? Hey, Teddy? All right. To see. He's pretty lit up over there. Oh, nice one, Teddy. Nice one. Okay. And let's just take it easy, huh? Let's just uh, see whoever else is gonna do something. Ah, he took some nice fire damage there. Oh, man. That was a nice one. Yep. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna loot out there in the bonfire. Okay. Ooh, nice one, Nero. That one hurt. That one really hurt. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, man. These guys are really getting hurt. And that captain is closing the gap. Now, let's just see. Ouch! Ouch! You're gonna hurt our captain that much? He's gonna give it back to you, see? Yeah, you take a dodge stance. Yeah, you think about that, huh? You just think about that. Let's just take a look here. 
This guy is down. Otmar, which we need, and his trophy also. But if we take out these two guys, they're probably going to have to start taking route tests. 36 for Johann Schmidt. 36. Well, the way I see it, Johann, you could be the next. Ah, nice one, Donnie. Nice one. <laughs> we you guys want to see how much health he's got? <laughs> he's got one. <laughs> Listen, guys, the odds of this. I mean, the odds of this. Are you kidding me? Anyway. Oh, nice, Donny. Nice. Let's see if we can loot this guy without actually moving because if we move out of our blue spot that dude right there burning in front of us is gonna attack so let's just see if we can approach this loot uh place without losing that spot there it is <laughs> that was so close even to the fire oh look at that one that's a nice one and a shard and a great sword yeah well none of these two are any of the mocked ones so we can just leave that Donny, Roger. Let's just see what what happened to you. Minus 22 armor absorption. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> you got 15 armor absorption like a first frontliner. Ah, man. You just caught fire there. Oh, Donny. That's not good. Whoops. Maybe you should just stand down here, you know, like take a break. That was bad. That was really bad. Man. Anyway. And Nero. Yeah, Nero. It has a pretty big kickback, that gun. You better, you know, tighten up down there. Okay, give it a shot, Nero. Come on, let's give him a shot. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, 36. That's right. That's right. And you should take a dodge, yeah? Like that. Let's see here. 83. And he is going to be all over us in the next turn. Anyway. The parry stance of 61. For Herman Henchman. And Pierre Paré. You should take a shot. Yeah. Reload. You can reload after this shot. Now give it to him. <laughs> All right, Pierre Paré, you did good. You did really good. Nice. Yeah, step up a little closer here, reload, and then end the turn. And we're going to be ending the round as well. A new round has started. Oh, man. <laughs> sure you're all right, Teddy? Okay, he took some damage there. Well dodging, Herman. Well dodged. That's nice. <laughs> Ooh, he can dodge as well. He's on fire, this guy. Uh, I mean, yeah, literally. He's going into a dodge as well. Okay. Let's see if anybody else turns up. Okay. Let's just take a look at what he's got. He's got 43 at this point. 43. And reload. I don't know if I'm too close here. But let's just see if we can help. Oh man, this guy's so full of arrows at this point. <laughs> he really is. Okay, let's just reload. And I think I'm gonna stretch a little bit for a nice overwatch stance right here. In order to get a good shot at that doorway over there behind the fire. Ah, oh, here he comes. Here he comes. He too was lit on fire. That was their pitching again. Oh man, I'm just thinking about getting this over with and having some barbecue back home. Oh man. So, let's just see the two guys that are marked for death are right here among us. This is one of them. He's got 209 wounds or health and he's a hard hitter. This guy, he's down to 25, and if we take him out, they might actually have to take a route test. 
So, that means we would have to take them both out in this round to be sure to get that second objective. I'm not sure if the captain can actually move over. Oh, no, no, he couldn't, he couldn't. He got ambushed over here, so captain, give it to him. Give it to him. That's right, that's right. Oh, he's coming in hard. Oh, man, he's coming in hard. Oh, man, that's bad. Okay, but you can do some damage as well. And a parry stance of 95 with a counter-attack possibility. Oh, man. Let's just see here, Teddy. We need to assist the captain, like, real fast. But maybe we need to think strategically right now. Ah, oh, come on. You see that pigeon there, Teddy? You see it? You see it? Oh, man, that's a suicidal one, I'm sure. Okay, that's okay. Maybe we should just give it all we got. So give it a go. Yeah, give it a go, Teddy. Yeah, nice one. We dealt some damage to him. You had a 46% chance. That wasn't much of a chance. But you did it. Okay, and let's, let's just see here. Herman Henchman? Ah, oh, come on. Why did you dodge that one? We just want to put you away. Okay. A defensive stance. I mean, pushing it to the next one. Let's see, Pierre Paré. Let's see. Oh, you could try and shot at him. Yeah, do it, do it, Pierre, do it. Oh. Nice one, Pierre. That's right. Well done. Well done. And you can reload and wait for the next turn. You want to have a perception go? Nice. We failed. Okay, why not? Okay, let's see. And Nero the hero. Maybe to reload here. And maybe... Oh, man, he's engaged. Let's just see. How about an aim shot? Yeah, you, you should try that. Oh, man, you're doing good there, Nero. You're doing really good. Really good. Okay, you got hurt by the fire. I, I know, I know. Let's just see what, what could be done here. Oh, where are you going? Oh, you're taking him from the backside. That's a bit risky, but nice thinking there. Oh man, he dodged that one. So maybe he's gonna have to take an all alone test now. Let's see what's going on here. A new round. A new round has started. Let's see. Ah, uh, he's taking damage. Ah, nice parry there, Herman. Nice parry there. Oh, well done. You well done. Awesome! You are turning out to be a formidable first frontliner right there, Herman Henchman. And I am gonna try and see if I can stick it to him this round. We need to take him out this round. Oh, man. Let's just see. Ooh, yeah! Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, of course, we're gonna reload again. Give it another shot. Oh, man, Donnie. Ah, oh, man, this pigeon is really crazy. I mean, okay, I'm, I missed that one. O okay, I want to try perception tests as well. Let's just see here. Oh, we got an enemy right in front of us. Ah, we didn't see that. Let's just end the turn and see what he does. Ah, oh, nice parrying there, Mason. Nice parrying there. And even better counterattacking. <laughs> Ouch. But here comes a counterattack. Oh, nice, Donnie, nice. Oh, yeah, you take a dodge right there. See how much that's gonna help you. All right, let's just take a look at things right here. This guy's got 48. And this guy, we need to loot. Otmar and Sigvard. They are the secondary objective right there in front of us. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. You're still on fire. Okay, the captain is delaying. Teddy, you can loot. That means you should go and, and, uh, you should loot that guy while we've got the chance. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm looking forward to getting this over with and just coming home to some good barbecue. Objective completed. Nice. Objectives updated. Yeah, they're updated. Yeah, okay. Okay, nice one, Teddy. Nice one. Okay. Let's just see, uh... 
Okay. Why don't you try and give him a shot? <gasps> yeah, that's right, Teddy! That's right! That's right! And Nero, yeah, you could be the one actually doing what needs to be done. So we got those three experience points. This one, let's just see. Sigwat, that's the one we need. That's the one. And we are getting an axe and a dagger of normal quality. Doesn't matter. Objective completed. Did you hear that? Ah, oh, okay. I guess you got excited there, right? This is a hard day, Captain. Okay. Well done, Nero. Well done. Let's... I think that we're gonna just have to wait this out. Because their morale is totally broken. Totally broken. And Donnie Dodger, what are you gonna... Oh, are you gonna... Close the gap again. Okay. And let's, uh, let's just see. Okay, and Captain, you could take that other side of the wall over here. That's right. And ambush stands right over here. Ah, oh, this is good. This is good. We got the gap closed right now. And Herman Henchman, you've been a real good first frontliner today. You could stand in front of Pierre Paré, rather him than me. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, Perry stands, and let's see if uh, someone is gonna turn up. Still no one else in sight. This is good. Okay, Pierre Paré, you should just take an overwatch. Yeah, like this. Okay, now let's see what happens. A new round has started. We did it! We did it! It was a decisive victory, and what a victory considering the fact of the state we were all in. We completed all our objectives, we got some pretty good wordstone gathering, and not that good looting from our enemies, but we put five of them out of action, and we lost no one. The most valuable warrior was Mason Muckshot, our captain. He dealt a lot of damage. I guess I would have dealt a lot of damage too if it wasn't because of that damn pigeon. Or something, I think. Anyway, the whole mission just costed 50 gold crowns, and overall it was a magnificent victory. Especially considering the state we were all in, right? And now we're all just thinking about the barbecue feast we're gonna have tonight with our newest recruit, Mark Muckshot, the twin brother of Mason Muckshot, our captain. We now have a reserve captain enlisted. Oh man, this is gonna be a true barbecue party tonight. And look at all those experience points right there. Three for the optional objective completed and one for the most valuable warrior also. And you ranked up to level seven, Mason Mugshot. What a great achievement. And you got two more skill points for training and advancement points. One in mental and one in martial. Nice. Nice. Fantastic. And Donnie Dodger, look at all of your experience points. You also ranked up and all of these advancement points. You got advancement points in everything and two even in Marshall. And you got a strategy point. One extra blue pill right there. Nice. And you did a good job out there, both shooting and shifting to the first front line. Man, this is good. Remarkable. And Teddy Toothpick, look at all of your experience points here, huh? And you even got two skill points for training as well. Why? Because you ranked up to level four. This is nice. And look at all the advancements points. One in each, martial, mental, and physical. Well done, Teddy Toothpick. Well done. The gods are with you. And there I am, Mage Master, and look at all of these experience points for me just stacking up right there, and one of them is one enemy put out of action, my sixth. Nice. And I got two skill points as well, because I ranked up to level three. This is awesome news. And even better, I got an extra offense point. This means I got six offense points, and that means I can shoot three times with my beloved bow. And I got a mental advancement point. I'm probably going to be using that for intelligence so I can start training some spells. Wow, what progression. I'm loving this. Nice. 
Fantastic. Aunt Herman, henchman, what a formidable good job you did out there, standing in the first front line protecting us all. And look at all the experience points you were rewarded this time, and advancements points, two in mental and one in physical. Nice, and you got two skill points per training. Why? Because you also ranked up to level four. This is awesome, Herman Henchman. Awesome. Congratulations. Fantastic. And Nero the Hero, you did some good shooting out there and you were rewarded with a lot of experience points as well and an advancement point in every category here, martial, mental and physical. And you ranked up your first rank, level one. Congratulations, Nero. Well done. And Pierre Paré, our newest recruit in the firing squad. Look at all of these experience points you got right away on your first mission. You just one experience point from leveling up to level one. And you got your first enemy put out of action here today. Awesome. You even got two advancement points, one in martial and one in physical. Nice, Pierre. Welcome to the group and well done today. And as a war band, we were given four experience points today. Not two as we usually do, but four because we completed the optional objective today. This is nice. This is nice. Now, let's see who got what at yesterday's sweet moment. And the captain, he was pretty happy for all the experience points and advancement points we got out there, but he wasn't too happy about the scavenging. We only got a good quality dagger and a good quality maze out there that could be used for anything. But it's backliner weapons, so there is nothing for him or the frontliners. But he did get advancement points in mental, going for intelligence, and one in martial, going for ballistics. That's interesting. And Donnie Dodger, you ranked up to level 5 and got a lot of advancement points here. One in physical, going for agility. You are a Dodger, right? And leadership to level out these moral values down here and all alone test terror and fear resistances. Nice. And you are a frontliner, so you are going to be spending both of your advancement points in weapon skill, of course. Awesome. And Pierre Paré, what wonderful shooting you did out there from the second front line. And you got two advancement points and you are close to ranking up. Nice. You're spending one of your advancement points, physical, for strength, of course. And the one in martial is going for weapon skill because you are a fighter, right? Nice. And there I am, Mage Master, and I also ranked up to level 3, and I was given an advancement point, and I'm gonna be using that for intelligence so I can learn some spells. But I found a skill here, and I've been looking at a skill called Battle Plan, and I can learn it overnight. It restores one offense point that can be used to counterattack. I can buff my frontline allies with this, and it only costs 90 gold. Gold coins. Wow, and look at all the money we got right here. No problem. Nobody's going to be missing 90 gold coins, right? I mean, 90, that's nothing. Look at all that. Yeah, well, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Nice. And Herman Henchman, what a formidable good job you did out there as a first frontliner. You got three advancement points, one in physical and two in mental. And the physical is going for strength. And in mental, you're going to be spending one in leadership to level out these values of morale and to boost these all alone terror and fear resistances. And you're going to be taking one in intelligence as well. And you are going to be training. The captain wants you to become a shield specialist right here. And you can learn that skill overnight. And it only costs 90 gold coins and we got lots of money. So no problem there. Awesome. And Nero the hero, you also ranked up and you did some good shooting out there from the back line. You got an advancement point in every category. Physical is going for agility so you can boost your dodging a bit. 
climb a little better and stuff like that. And leadership for the mental advancement point to level out these moral values right here and to better a little bit of your resistances in all alone terror and fear. And of course, the martial advancement point is going to go for ballistics. And we found a maze out there. A maze of speed, a typical backliner weapon, and that is for you, Nero. Nice, look at that. And the other good quality blue backliner weapon, a dagger, we found out there is going for Baldy Bowman. He's been sharing a blue good quality dagger with Teddy Toothpick. Now he has his own. Nice. And Teddy Toothpick, what formidable good shooting you did out there from the back line today. And you also ranked up and were given three advancement points and a few skill points for training as well. Your advancement points is going for agility to better out your dodging abilities down here. And it's going for leadership to even better out the morale here and you're all alone fear and terror tests down here and the last one is of course going for ballistics nice but you were also given two skill points for training and it is of course a ballistic skill quick reload it reduces the cost of the reload action by one strategy point but it takes two days so you're gonna be out of a mission for at least one day it only costs 180 gold crowns and we of course have that we got lots of money still nice teddy nice and the captain he's gonna be doing some training for himself look at all these skill points he's got up here right here but he hasn't been able to do it because we didn't have a reserve captain so hold ground is gonna take two days and we can take a reserve captain with us this is nice and it's a buff that gives ally a dodge and parry chance of five percent and ten percent when it's mastered up to 20 meters away oh man and this only costs 160 the gold crowns here and there's there's something missing here i totally don't know anything about that captain uh, i i don't uh, anyway he could go and sell some of our useless weapons and stuff uh, i mean that's that's a that's a good thing getting rid of that right i mean this this is lucky right right Anyway, while he's going on a shopping spree, I can tell you some hot news. Howard Howler is in love. Gisela this and Gisela that. Gisela this and Gisela that. <laughs> but uh, it's not all good, you see. He went down to the healer to recuperate faster from his wounds and she made some blood magic on him. And since then, he's been like love struck, uh, kind of distant and somehow not himself. I talked to our two backliner marksmen, Baldy Bowman and Teddy Toothpick, about this. They're both convinced that he's been cursed with some love spell. And Baldy Bowman, he's been living with some Baldy monks in a faraway land called Nepal or Nepal. These monks, they know a thing or two about magic. And he says blood magic is bad. Evil, even. Oh, by the way, Baldy Bowman's name, it has kind of a funny story. You see, when he first came to Mordheim, no one understood him or could pronounce his name. But he was kind and polite to everyone. And he always bowed respectfully. So everyone just called him Baldy Bowman, since he was bold like the monks are where he comes from, right? But since all discovered how skilled he is with the bow, he's now called Baldy Bowman. Anyway, I uh, talked to them a while and I kind of persuaded them to tell me the captain's master plan for them. Yeah, it worked out. It turns out they have the exact same master plan. And of course, I'll share that with you guys. But hey, hey, you guys, you, you know these plans are like top secret, right? So don't tell the captain I showed it to you, okay? I, I could get fired for this, you know? Now let's take a look at the captain's master plan for... Baldy Bowman, Overwatcher, Marksman, and Backliner. Every warband member of the firing squad has four personal objectives, counting the first objective as the standard contract. To become a true member, everyone has to survive five missions and put five enemies out of action. 
Once that is accomplished, they can progress in the star ranking system as a trooper. And he can gain a star by training and learning five passive skills. And if he does that, he gains the rank of a true trooper. He can also achieve a second star by casting battle plan on an ally that uses it for a counterattack. If he does that, he gains the rank of a star trooper. And he can gain a third star and the highest rank of a tri trooper by advancing to 12 in agility and 15 in ballistic skill. Now let's take a look at the specific stats and skills specified by the captain. There are three active skills and five passive skills in all. Now starting with the active skills. Vital Shot is the first active skill. It is a ranged attack that deals regular damage and has a plus 10% critical hit chance. And his second active skill is the Pinning Shot, a strategic shot, a ranged attack that deals regular damage and if hit, the target's maximum strategy points is reduced by one for one turn. The third and last of his active skills is the battle plan. This is also a strategic skill. He can target a single ally and restore one offense point that can't be used for counterattacking. And now for the passive skills. His pre-made skill as a marksman is chain shot. After dealing ranged damage, the ranged hit chance increases by 10% for one turn. And that is stackable. And the second passive skill is Quick Reload. It reduces the cost of the reload action by one strategy point. And his third passive skill is Overhead, which increases the ranged hit chance by 5% when higher than the target. And his fourth passive skill is Eagle Eyes. It makes the ranged attack bypass 5% of the target's armor absorption and thereby deal more damage. And the fifth and last of the passive skills is the Bull's Eye skill. It increases the chance to hit with the aim action by 10%. And this is his personal Warband member master plan sheet, planned out and masterminded by the captain himself. And you can find this sheet and many more in the captain's book of master plans. And the captain is back from his selling spree and he's got some more gold crowns here to resolve the big mystery of the missing gold, right? So we don't need to talk anymore about that. It's resolved, right? So the captain can train hold ground for two days. Nice. And so a new damn day is dawning in Mordheim and it's time to look at the daily report. And our big brute lovestruck basher here, Howard Howler, has recovered from his light wounds and can once again take part in missions. And I have learnt the skill battle plan overnight, as well as Herman Henchman overnight has learnt the skilled shield specialist. And two other warriors are currently under training. And we have one more day to deliver the requested shipment and avoid consequences from the Baron. I hope the captain is aware of this. Well, I have even more hot news to report, as you all know. No, our captain's twin brother, Mark Mugshot, is a new recruit. He came last night and negotiated a few terms for his enlisting. Two, actually. First of all, he doesn't want to complete the standard contract of five missions and five enemies put out of action. No, he wants to be a true member right away. Sure, <laughs> he's going to do five missions and put five enemies out of action anyway at some point. Well, the second term is about enlisting yet. Yet another member, a battle buddy of his, some Spanish champion called Victor, I think. And the captain has agreed to that, so it seems we can expect yet another new recruit in the near future. Now that is exciting, right? But that isn't even the most hot news. You see, he was supposed to come two days ago, but... He arrived while we were all struggling with some heavy belly bashing after Perry Perry's failed delicacy. And he just turned in the doorway and didn't return until yesterday, while we were on a mission. He arrived while Perry Perry was barbecuing in the kitchen, or rather, barbecuing the kitchen. 
Yeah, he had set the whole kitchen on fire. All the new wooden cupboards and tables and shelves, they were ablaze. He came just in the nick of time to help Perry. Perry put out the fire with the rest of our water supply. And after that, Perry just disappeared. Gone. Vanished like a fart in the wind. Yeah, we know that term now. So, to put it in short, we now have no kitchen, no water supply, and no warband cook. And the captain is fumingly furious, and is most likely gonna fire him when he finds him, because he only gave him one more chance, right? And ruining yet another meal, burning down the kitchen, using all our water supply, and then running away. That kinda covers it, right? Anyway, we've all been looking for him all morning in true chaos, but we really need to go on a mission now. So, here is the team we are sending into Mordheim, City of the Damned, today. And we're a party of just seven today. We're going in light, and there is a reason for this. Well, actually, there are two reasons, and I'll get to that in a second. Let's just start from the left back. Me, Mage Master. Of course I'm joining the mission. Always. And our big brute love struck basher. Howard Howler is coming with us today. He is fully recuperated. And let's just hope he can focus on something else than Gisela this and Gisela that. And the reason why we're going in light today? Well, one of the reasons is our newest recruit, the second captain, Mark Muckshot, the twin brother of Mason Muckshot, is coming with us on his first mission today. And we're going to try to make it like a walk in the park, tucking him in well and defending him good. And that's why we're also bringing our best first frontline warrior, Sheldon Shearwise along, a.k.a. the White Knight, a.k.a. A the surgeon and a good second front liner dodgy Dan is there with his dueling pistols as well to take care of us all and the second reason why we're going in a bit light is Pierre Paré he is still a new recruit and we need to take good care of him the eye in the sky today, together with me, of course, is Baldy Bowman, and he's bringing his viciously hard-hitting crossbow. Nice. Now let's try and see if we can make it, you know, a picnic to Mordheim, right? A walk in the park. That would be nice. So let's go. And our captain has found us a normal level mission today to make it easy on our new reserve captain. A walk in the park. <laughs> Someone's marked for death, the words don't gathering could be very poor and the scavenging average. Each warband spread out by their wagons far from each other. Now let's go for a picnic, shall we? Scouts have reported a rival warband in the vicinity. Before you can find them, a heavy fog settles over the ruins. Unable to pick up the enemy's trail, your warriors deploy from their wagon and spread out to sweep the area in search of your foe. And we're in. First things first, let's just check out the map and see who we're up against while our new captain checks out his Mordheim map for the first time and hopefully lays out a master plan. Let's see, the Congregation of Blood, they are from the Cult of the Possessed. So that is the foe we are facing today. Oh, there's a lot of words down here, but it's probably all fragments. Anyway, let's deploy and hear our new second captain's hopefully genius plan. And I will be right here. Ah, there's a scavenge point right in there. And the captain will be here. And Dodgy Dan is gonna be here. And Pierre Paré is gonna be close to the captain as well. He's gonna be there. And Baldy Bowman is gonna be here, close to the captain as well. And Sheldon Shieldwise. It's going to be close as well. And Howard Howler is going to be a bit further away. Right here. So let's hear the captain's hopefully genius master plan. 
So the captain says, we're all just going to run up the street and pick up all of this word stone, and then we're going to continue to the wagon, and we're going to hack and slash anyone we see along the way. Um, that's not going to happen, Captain. That's kind of not the firing squad way. So, uh, Sheldon, she wise and I, we just persuaded the captain that we're going to take over and he's just going to tack along today. So, uh, Sheldon is going to take care of the frontliners command and I will be commanding the backliners. And our plan is to go into this house right here and, and kind of gather up and see if we can spot any of them along the way so uh that's the first plan and captain <laughs> just hacking and slashing and running straight forward that is not a good idea not in wartime so let's deploy howard howler and see how things go and there are two question marks in the top of the screen indicating that two opponents are taking their moves now i'm the first one and what i saw was that right in here we have a scavenge point, so I'll be taking the scavenge point to start off with here. Let's just see, like this. Okay. Ah, 62 gold crowns. That's nice. That pretty much pays for the whole thing. Once again, Mage Master is securing the finance of the mission. Nice. Ooh, let's just be careful not to step on those traps. That could be traps. Let's go real close here and see if we can just get the things into our chest. If we can make it. If not, doesn't matter. Then I don't want to waste the strategy point on this first. No, it's not possible. Doesn't matter. So we're just gonna run straight down this way here. Let's see. Uh, that wasn't far. But that's, I guess, far enough. Let's see if this... If somebody comes in this opening here. An overwatch stands right here. Like that. Okay. Let's just see. What? No, 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 no! That's Perry! Perry, what's he doing here? He must have been hiding in the wagon. Oh, my Sigma, what is he doing here? Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. He's going scavenging. Oh, man. This is bad. What's he doing here? I d oh man, this guy. He's running around with a kitchen knife. He's, oh man, this is bad. No, 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 no. Perry, Perry, what are you doing here? Oh no, 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 no. This is so bad, this is so bad. This is so bad. Oh my God, he's, oh man. I'm really hoping he's just gonna come to us. Oh man, this is bad. This is so bad. What is he doing here? Oh man, he's just got a kitchen knife. Man, this is bad. Oh, Captain, he always checks out the wagon before we go on a mission, but because of all this chaos where we were all looking for Perry Perry, we must have forgotten that. Okay, no, 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 Captain, just just leave Perry Perry alone, okay? I mean, he, he's got to come to us. We need to set up this house. So you just need to go in and see if there is uh, some some stairways or something here. There's no stairway. you got to be outside then. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can place you at a good spot. And um, why don't we place you right there? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good place. And an Overwatch stands right here. Yeah. Oh man, this is bad. This is not at all gonna be a walk in the park. Oh man. Oh man. This is bad, Dodgy Dan. You, you better get to the to the captain like as fast as possible. Let's see if we can get you, you know, just stand in front of the store. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, we need we need someone to cover the captain as well. Oh man, this is not at all gonna be a walk in the park. Oh man, we got Pierre Paré. He, he's not 
experience. He's just got one mission under his belt. He could be by the window here. And then we've got a captain with no experience in more time. And we've got a love-struck first frontliner in Howard Howler. And we've got a suicidal cook running around practically unarmed. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, oh man, this is bad. This is bad. All right, Baldy Bowman. Sheldon Shewise and I, we are gonna have to make this a safe ride today. Oh man. Oh, that's a good position right up there. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. And Sheldon Shewise, you're gonna have to get to the new captain as fast as possible. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, yeah. Well, Sheldon just told me that we are gonna be the ones who's taking the load today, I know, I know. Oh my, Sigmar. Oh man. Let's just see here if there are any enemies here. Perry Perry over here, oh man, this is bad. And Howard Howler, we need to get you to the captain as fast as possible. See if you could get into a defensive stance. Whoops, that was one too much, let's just see here. There's a lot of traps right here, so let's just watch out. No, you can't be in a defensive stance, so you're just gonna be standing right here so that everybody could get past you. And you're gonna have to take an end turn right there. Yeah. A new round has started. Ah, oh, they are picking up some word stone. Okay. Let's see if anybody turns up this round. But where are they? They're picking up even more word stone. Oh, man. Let's just take a look and see who we can find. We can't find anyone. Wonder if they're over here and we just can't see them. Or maybe they are scavenging some of these points here and there would be wordstone in that. And Perry Perry, oh man, suicidal chef. All right, anyway, let's see how far I can get. If I could get up on the first floor, it would be, it would be good. Could I, could I break the line over there and then go around you real careful? See if I can make it through all of all of you here and all the way up beside Baldy Bowman that's a good position up there Baldy let's see if we can if we can stand together up here oh man I can't get through this door this isn't too good so I'm gonna be here overlooking this place we've got you covered here captain we got so let's see what Perry Perry is gonna do. He's he's just running around here all on his own. Oh man. Oh, he's gonna go scavenge. Okay. Ah, he's finding some nice things here. And a good shield there, an armband. That's a lot of gold. Oh, he's switching. The armband there, that's a lot of gold. Armband is like I don't know, four or five gold? That's that's a lot for one item. Oh, he's going for the wagon. Oh, that's, at, at least that's something. Man, you are sick. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's just see. Who can we see here, Baldy Bowman? Can we see anyone? Doesn't seem as if we can see anyone. And it's the captain's turn. Let, let's just take a look here. Oh, now they're showing up here. Oh, man. And this is one of the mocked ones. It's their leader, Cherubail. Okay, so he's the one gathering wordstone, is he? Okay. This guy's probably going to come running through this way, and he's probably going to run straight for us when he's done taking wordstone. So, Captain, you need to take an overwatch stance. Yeah. You got... The dueling pistols are giving you uh, a good percentage of a hit chance. This is nice. We got you all covered here. Let's just hope Howard Howler provides some protection for you. And Baldy Bowman, there he is. All right. 
Looks as if you're gonna take an overwatch stance up here. Uh, as well. You just moving aside a bit for me so I can take the window. Nice. Thanks for that. And Sheldon Shieldwise. Okay, let's just see here if any more have popped up in our view. No, no one has popped up. How about you, Perry Perry? You seen anyone? <laughs> no. Okay, you better come to us after that. Looks like you're gonna need a hand in more ways than one. Anyway, uh, Sheldon Shieldwise, are you taking a delay? Okay. Oh, and dodgy Dan, you're gonna go up on the stairs as well? To protect the captain? Close him in? That's good thinking right there. And Pierre Barré. Oh, you going up on the stairs as well? Yeah, this is a good firing line right there. Nice. Let's see. Let's just see. Sheldon. And let's just see if the last one that moved. No, he's not moved into any position we can see. You're gonna take another day. And Howard Howler. So what has Sheldon Shubwise told you to do? Oh, to go over. What's that supposed to oh, I see. Maybe that's uh that's traps right there. So if anybody charges you, they'll be running straight into a trap. One of them, I guess. Nice. And a 77% parry chance. Now that's good. That's really good. And Sheldon, she wise. You are gonna take the doorway instead. All right. I like that. With a 74% parry stance. Okay. Let's just see how that plays out. A new round has started. Okay, let's see what's going on here. We can hear him. That's the hero. Oh, he's coming from that angle down there. Is he going for parry parry? Is that what he's doing? Oh man, he looks big. He looks like really big. Oh, man. And what's this guy doing down here? He's gone. He's gone. Where is he? Is something happening down here? Oh. Nice! First blood there! Right on, Baldy Bowman! Nice! Oh, man. This... Oh, let's just see. Do I have a chance to deal some damage here? Maybe I should... Maybe... Let's just see. Maybe I could... Uh, I could... Maybe I could go upstairs. Let's just see if I could do this. Oh, nice one! Ah, man, that was good. That was really good. Let's just see. Ah, there's space enough for more than one out here. Let's just see here. Oh, man. I can't get a beat on any of them. That's weird. Okay. If I could delay, that may be a possibility of getting a shot in on someone. I'm gonna take a delay here. Because you know what? I got... It. Three shots. Okay, Perry. Are you gonna put the things in here first? Okay, and and then you could come to us, right? I mean, like, you need that. Let's just see here. Oh, you going? You gonna take the idle buff as well? That's probably a good thing. You need that. That's just a kitchen knife there, and you're up against the hero right out there. Yeah, that's right. You just come straight down to us. Oh, look at that. He's a big, nasty one with some nasty horns as well. What? What? What, what are you... No, 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 Perry. Don't take the fight. He's... He's a hero. You got a kitchen that No! Perry, Perry, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh man! This is bad! Perry... Oh man! 
Ah, oh, man. Okay, so no, no one showed up around here. So, let's just take a look here and see. No, there's, there's no one else popped up. Okay. I think I'm gonna go over here and take the Overwatch stance. I might be able to take one of his strategy points if he moves. So, let's just see here. Ah, oh, man, this is definitely not a walk in the park. This is bad. This is so bad. Oh, man. Captain, maybe you should take a delay. Just to see if there is a possibility for you to, to pick your own shot. Oh, man. Sorry guys, I experienced a Mordheim blackout for two critical minutes. It was a new round. Their leader approached our corner house and took some heavy damage on the way in. He cast some blood curse on our captain and lined up right in front of Sheldon Shieldwise and the firing squad with only 13 wounds to his life. Then their hero went for Perry Perry. He stepped right into his ambush and Perry attacked but missed. The hero attacked three times and the first attack was dodged and countered with a good hit by Perry. But the two next attacks severely damaged Perry Perry. Then it was Mage Master's turn and he couldn't get a beat on their leader from the balcony. So he went one floor down and stood beside Baldy Bowman for a better aim. All right, let's just see here. Oh man, was, it, was, that, was that a meteor? Just striking down from the sky right as my arrow came along. You, you didn't see it? You, I saw that. I, I, I did. Anyway, I got three... <gasps> hey! Did you see that, Captain? Did you, did you note who that kill was from? <laughs> I like that. I really do. Let's let's just see. I, I can't do anything else now. I'm just going to end my turn right here. That was my seventh enemy put out of action. Ah, oh, Perry, Perry, you better get out of there real fast. I mean, no, 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 don't, don't, yeah. oh, man. You are suicidal. What's going on here? What are you doing? Oh, man. Yeah, you should, I ain't disengage. Oh, come on, Perry, Perry, what are you? Ah, oh, man, what, that is a serious death wish. Oh, man. Oh, man. And Captain, you should just take a reload and an overwatch stands once more. Like that? Yeah. Oh, man. This is definitely not a walk in the park. Perry, Perry, what's going on in your mind? Huh? Okay. Dodgy Dan, you two are gonna take an overwatch. If anybody else pops up here, we can't do anything about Perry Perry. He's just gonna be there on his own. He should have disengaged. What is he doing? Baldy Bowman. Let's let's take overwatch stances up here. Get a good overview of this. And Pierre Paré. You should be taking this guy's token. This is uh, part of our um, optional objective. Ooh, he's got a lot of stuff. And a Staff of Fury. Nice one. You could take all the Wordstone and take the buffs from that. And then Sheldon Shieldwise could take the rest. Ooh, you got some health there. Ah, that was pretty good. So you didn't get any debuff, that's nice. That's real nice. And you can reload, like that. And an overwatch stance. Awesome. And Sheldon, maybe you could take uh, this undivided token here and the Staff of Fury. That would be for me, a parry chance bypass, nice. Objective completed. Yep. Objectives updated. Updated. We just need one more here. Let's just see. Yeah, you need to stay here, Sheldon. That's good thinking. Okay. So let's see. 
Let's just take a look at the map here and see if anybody is approaching. If they step on a trap or something, we might be able to see it. No. Okay, Howard Howler. What are you, what are you doing? Oh man, he's writing little hearts and writing Gisela into it. Where are you going, Howard? Oh, oh you're thinking about helping uh, Perry Perry over here. Well, that's a good thing to do. We gotta take care of our own, even if he is a fool, man. Oh, could you, could you possibly charge? Yeah, you could make a swift charge. Oh, that's a nice one. And you made a successful fear test. Oh, that was a good one. That was a nice one. All right, gonna go for another one. Ooh, he's down a lot now. Nice. You're gonna have to make an end turn there without any defensive stance or anything. A new round has started. Ooh, nice dodging there, Perry Perry. I gotta give you that one. <laughs> you even hit him with the kitchen knife, oi! Oh man, don't hurt Howard Howler! Don't hurt Howard Howler! I mean, the guy's in love! Ooh, there's one standing out there, let's just take a look at this guy! Alright, this is also a Dax, and, and this guy's a Dax? Okay, and he's got five. Five! <laughs> okay, reload here... Anyway, He's already moved, so uh, he's not gonna be coming any closer in this round. But I am gonna delay to see if anybody else pops up. Oh, there are two more guys moving. Let's just see here. And now you disengage? What? Where are you? Oh man, you're going looting at this moment? This, okay. Oh man. Well, it's some good stuff. It is, but hey. Man, this is... <laughs> oh man. Perry, Perry. Oh yeah. And now you are... Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. And you, you're just gonna end the turn there? Oh, you could have taken a dodge. You could have done so many things. You could have run away. You oh man. This is bad. Perry Perry, you are taking some odd decisions. Just as odd as the decisions you made in your kitchen. Oh man, nothing seems to be happening here. And it's my turn again. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take another delay here. To see if anybody else pops up. I may have a few shots. And Captain, you should just take an overwatch. Yep, right there. Now somebody's gonna start. Now somebody's moving. Let's just keep an eye here. See if any trap is activated or something. Nope. Okay. So I'm gonna take an overwatch. And let's just see how things progress. Oh man. Pierre Paré. You should take an overwatch as well. Right there. Sheldon Shearwise holding the entrance, protecting us all. This is good stuff. This is good stuff, Sheldon. And Baldy Bowman going for another overwatch. Oh man. Dodgy Dan. Overwatch. What's going on? Okay, okay, what's going on here? Is he coming? No, he's picking up some wordstone for us. <laughs> Apparently there were a few clusters over there. I mean, the leader had picked up a few clusters. Let's hope there is another cluster or another shard for us. Howard Howler, once again, you passed the fear test, ah, and he passed a dodge test of some sort. Okay, just, yeah, that's right, Howard Howler, you just put him down, nice one. Now let's go for the loot. Ah, he's got a fragment, but he's got two. Oh, 
pants. Now these are worth something. We can't use them, but they're worth something. Oh, why didn't you pick up the fragment? Oh, you talk to Perry. Perry. So he's going to take it up and bring it to the wagon, okay? Um, that's a nice one. Thanks for that. Oh, watch out for that trap right there. Yeah. And, and maybe, uh... Maybe you should just stop there, right? Right there. For a parry stance. Yeah. To protect yourself. A new round has started. Okay. And a new round is starting up here. I will delay once more just to see what happens. If anybody else comes within range. Okay. And Perry, Perry, you, you're gonna take that fragment right there. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Ah, uh, you got a few warp effects and stuff. Okay, so you're gonna put it in our chest. Thanks. That's a good one. Okay, so we got stuff in the chest here. Nice. All right, now you should come to our... No, our house. You're going to wrong... Perry, Perry, man. Oh, man, where are you going? Where are you going? What is going on in your head? Where are you going? Oh, man. Perry, Perry, what's wrong with you? I guess those kitchen fumes must have gotten to your head. Oh, man. Well, I'm still here. And I'll take another delay here to see if anybody pops up within my range. Ah, oh, man. And, and you should just stay put, Captain, with an overwatch. That's right. You're in a very good position. Now, let's, let's see if anybody is going to pop up, step on a trap, do something. No, nothing happened there. Okay. So, I will just go into an overwatch stance and await the next round. Let's just see here. Baldy Bowman. You two in an overwatch stance. We got a good overview here. Dodgy Dan, we're getting ready to take the word stone out of that guy's pocket when he shows up. Right? And Sheldon Shootwise, a parry stance right here is a, is a good one, yeah. Okay. And Pierre Paré, too. Okay, let's let's see what he does now. Let's just see what he does. Ah, uh, is he coming? Is he coming? No, he's picking up some more word stone, I see. Okay, so how, how much room you got? Okay, so, so nothing ha He ran off. Yeah, I, I would do that too if I was you. I would. Okay, um... Okay, and Howard Howler. Nothing happened there, so what are you gonna do, Howard Howler? Oh, you're gonna place yourself behind those two traps right there if you get charged. That's good thinking there. Ah, oh, maybe you are a bit focused anyway, huh? Well done, Howard. A new round has started. A new round, yeah. And I'll start with a delay right here, just to see if anybody else pops up. I have three shots. Perry, Perry, why don't you come? Oh, man, you're gonna loot that? Yeah, well. <clears throat> oh, man. Perry, Perry. Okay, and then you're gonna come to us, right? Okay. Wait, no, 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 it's the wrong way, Perry. It's the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. No, 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 no. Oh, my God, where are you going? What are you doing? You going for that? No, you're not serious. God, Perry, Perry. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at this. Ah, oh, he's got... Ah! Perry, Perry. No, no, no. <laughs> this guy looks nasty. This is... Fucking... Oh, man. Perry, Perry, that kitchen... <laughs> Perry, Perry. Harry, how many attacks does he have, this guy? Oh, man. This is bad. This is not at all a picnic or a walk in the park. Perry, Perry, 
you are really not making this easy on us, are you? Oh, man, we can't get to you, Perry Perry. You, I, guess, I guess you know that, right? I'm gonna take another delay. Just to see if anybody else pops up. I've got three shots. I don't know if I've mentioned that. Have I mentioned that? Yeah, you go for an overwatch there, Captain. And let's see if anybody pops up here. Oh man, let's just take a look at this guy. Oh, he is loaded. And you got 73 health or wounds left. Perry, Perry. Oh man, this is bad. I'm just gonna take an overwatch stance right here. Perry, Perry, what are we gonna do about you? Sheldon, you need to just stay put. That guy's gonna bring some wordstone to us, I believe. Yeah. Pierre Paré, you're gonna take an overwatch as well. We're all gonna take overwatches right here. Yeah. And Dodgy Dan is gonna take an overwatch as well. Oh man. Let's take a look here. Nope. Now let's see if he pops up here. He's coming. Nice one, Baldy. That was one shot. Let's see. Ah, he didn't make it that far, huh? You taking an overwatch over there? And Howard Howler, you could just stand here for another parry stance. Right there. Okay. A new round has started. And, and I'll, I'll go for a delay again. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I've got... Oh, yeah, I've mentioned that. Okay. Oh, Perry, Perry, let's, let's see if we if you can do it. Damage here. That's good. That's that's pretty good. And, and, uh... He is blocking the door, so you're, uh... You're gonna have to just dodge your way out of this one. Oh, man, Perry, Perry, you are truly suicidal. Oh, man. Okay, Captain. You got him in sight, but not in range. So, an overwatch. As soon as he steps any closer, we will stick it to him. And I can't do anything about this either. So I'll take a delay. There are still two more question marks in the top of the screen. Indicating that there are two opponents that are gonna make their moves. Let's just keep an eye on the map here and see if anybody is closing in. No? Okay, and Baldy Bowman. You are doing some really good shooting. Look at that 95% chance. Give it to him. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> awesome, Baldy. Awesome. And you should take an overwatch, yeah. Yeah, exactly. He's just gonna take him as soon as he steps one step further. And nobody popped up, so um, I'll take an overwatch stance as well. It's weird, I can't shoot him up there. I mean, that doesn't look as if it's that far away. Dodgy Dan, you're doing some good shooting with your dueling pistols right there. And Pierre Barre as well. We're all just waiting here on the firing line, doing exactly what our first captain told us to do, creating a first front line and a second front line. Sheldon Shieldwise here is the first front liner. Okay. Oh, okay, he's taunting. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 Perry, you gotta dodge, you gotta dodge, you gotta dodge! Ah, oh, man, you totally forgot how to do that. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, man, Perry, Perry, he's going down. Nice one, Baldy! Oh, uh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, okay, you see, I got him in the foot. Yeah. Yeah, I got him in the foot. So, oh. Oh, dodgy Dan. That's too bad. That's too bad. Okay. That's not bad at all there, Pierre Paré. That's pretty good. He's taking a lot of shit. He's taking a lot of shooting. Oh, that wasn't a trap. Ouch. Ouch. 
Yeah? <laughs> That's right, Howard Howler. You just put him down, and you can even do some looting now. So, what kind of wordstone did you bring for us? Fragments, huh? That's like worth nothing. And a great sword is worth like two gold coins or something like that. But if we leave it in here and the round ends, it disappears. So we might as well take it and this could be looted by someone else later on. Oh, you got a warp effect there. Oh, so, oh, you, you're going to the wagon. Yeah, well, that's, that's probably some good thinking there. That's probably good thinking there, Howard. You seem, you seem pretty focused today anyway. So, uh, if we, if you could be here at the corner in an ambush, you could cover yourself, that's good thinking. Nice one, Howard. Nice. Okay. Someone just popped up. So let's see. A new round has started. And there's a guy over here. And none of them are the marked ones. That's too bad. That's like too bad. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna reload. We can see him over there. Let's just hope that he's bringing some wordstone to us. I will delay. Okay, give it to him. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Give it to him. He didn't. He didn't parry that one. Let's just and that one too. Nice one, Perry. Nice. Okay. So uh, if you go into a dodge stance, you better you better dodge. Okay. You you better dodge. Hmm. This is bad. Oh man. And Captain, you are gonna reload. Yes. And, and then you, uh, you go into an overwatch again. That's right. Okay. And I'll take a delay once more. I might at least get maybe two shots in this round if somebody pops up. Or if that guy gets any closer. Okay, let's, let's see what he does. What, what does he do? He's coming. Okay. He's got one arm as well. Oh man. Okay, Pierre Paré. And and you can't loot that bag out there because you got a full inventory already. You got two good clusters and a shard, but you could take the window here. Yeah, let's let's see if, if that's a possibility there. Oh, and I have a nice speed on this guy. All right, let's give him some damage down there. Okay, that wasn't much, but it was damage. It was damage. Oh, yeah. And and I'm going to take an Overwatch stance just to take some of his strategy points when he moves. Possibly he can't move all the way around, uh, stuff like that. Let's, let's just see here, Shell. You got two slots left here. Okay. And, and you could take two of these fragments, and now you, you got a, f a full inventory right there. Yeah. You got a buff. A three meter movement range. Oh man. Nice. You could possibly even charge that guy, but you shouldn't. You should just get right back here and, and get into uh, parry stance and then cover these stairs. We got a lot of guys up on the stairs, relying on your security. All right, let's see, Baldy Bowman, if you could deal some more damage to this guy down here. Let's see. Yeah, that's a nice one. 36. Oh my God, that crossbow is really good. It's really good. And then an Overwatch stance. If he moves just one step further, we are gonna give it to him. Okay, and Pierre Paré, you should just take an overwatch stance right here. Like this. And dodgy Dan, why don't you just reload and let's see if an overwatch stance is gonna stop him and his approach. Yeah, nice. Okay. 
Ooh, nice dodging there, Perry. Perry, that's not good. Oh, my Sigma. Oh, man. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, man. He just lost Perry Perry. And Howard Howler here. Let's let's just take a quick look over here. Uh, what? Oh, he's he's moved over. Oh, man, he's coming for Howard Howler now. Oh, man. This is a hero against a hero fight then, huh? Yeah, well, you better focus there, Howard. Hey, Howard, it's... Howard, it's it's your turn. How, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you've been... Oh, man, you've been writing little hearts and writing Gisela into it. Oh, come on. And he's he's just right there. Did you, did you know that? In that house. You better be careful. You better start focusing here. Let's get all this nice stuff into the wagon. Okay. So maybe you could... Yeah. You could make an ambush right here. That's a good move right there. That's a good move. Yeah. A new round has started. This is not at all a walk in the park. Well, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I got three shots. And this is the moment where I can actually show you all that it's not just bragging. Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is so good. Yeah, awesome. And let's make the last one an overwatch stance right here. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. I can't forget that. That we have lost Perry Perry in more time. Oh man, the captain is gonna be furious. He's gonna be like really furious. I mean, not mock mugshot. I mean Mason mugshot. See, oh, yeah, that's a good one, Baldy. Nice shot. Ah, I got my third shot there. You see, you see that? Ha <laughs> ha! This is good. This is good. And dodgy Dan as well. You crit him. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. This guy is going down. All right, Pierre Paré. Why don't you try to get up on the stairs, take a shot, and then go inside again? Yeah, let's let's just see. Oh, that is a nice percentage, but that's because he's stunned. Let's just see here. Yeah, that's right. That is so right, Pierre Paré. You just took out your second, your second one. I like that. Let's see. How can we, how can we place you here? Should you just be by the window or by the door? But listen, don't shoot Sheldon, okay? He's not going to like that. And then uh, end your turn right there. Nice. Okay, Dodgy Dan, how much have you got? You got an empty inventory here. Let's see if we can get you. Let's just make this loot real quick. Right. Oh, I see someone down there. Let's just take a look at that. Oh, that's the last marked one. But their morale is already below the threshold. But if we if we could take you to this loot let's let's just take the chance okay let's see oh man that was a bad chance that was like two gold coins in all maybe three in all that's not good that's not good at all anyway so all you can do is uh try and step back here oh man you're standing in the middle of the street let's just hope they fail their route test but Baldy Bowman and I, we're gonna cover you, Dodgy Dan. Yep, there's a reload here and an Overwatch stands here. And Sheldon Shewise. Oh yeah, you got a lot of movement range, so you could uh, you could take an ambush stance up here, and you could pretty good protect Dodgy Dan. Nice. This is good. Ah, they failed! Awesome! Ah! Yes! Yes! And now, we approach the sweet moment. 
Returning from battle in one piece is always a sweet moment, but it is also the moment where we discover the newfound skills and the spoils of war, and we receive advancements and experience and better gear. And today, we can once again enjoy the battle tales of yet another victory, but also attend to the open wounds and bloody injuries sustained that may or may not become fatal for the continuance of the Firing Squad. Let's share that sweet moment together in tomorrow's episode of Mage Master's Amazing Adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. Thanks for now, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then please leave a note in the commentary below and hit that subscribe button and the notification button if you want to be notified of new releases. So that's it for me, thanks and have a nice day.